Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> My people. Oh my god. Is it a big night tonight? What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the biggest stream on Twitch.tv. It is Unsurpassable Z here with a hundred, uh, a hundred and something viewers. I don't know. My Twitch is lagging. It's so many, dude. Guys, oh my god. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have every one of you guys here for this huge stream. This is gonna be such a blast. I have got such a busy night in store with some crazy people, all right? I mean, we got Brandigan, by the way, joining us later tonight. We got the Habu joining us later. We got my girlfriend M joining us later tonight. And that's the, oh, oh, I forgot one. That's right. Oh yeah, Concerned Ape. Concerned Ape live tonight with us, man. What a time to be alive, dude, honestly. Lifetime long experience. This is an experience of a lifetime, man. I'm so happy to share it with all of you guys. Look, if you're new here, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry. There's so many people here. I'm probably not going to get to talk to you guys as much as I like to. But uh, normally what I do is I take it from the top and I say hello to everyone who's here. I I'm going to just like fly through some names real quick and just try to get hit as many people as I can. I'm sorry if it feels a little bit like I'm just taking attendance. I promise I'm not. I just, I want to thank you guys for being a part of this. So Lady Shell, W Carry, Alchemy, guys, welcome. Down with Comcast, Let the Body Fall. Pubby, uh, Kimmerist, welcome to the stream. Pubby, I said that you are ready. Uh, PCG Matt, welcome, my friend. Uh, who else we got? I'm sorry if I miss anyone also during this. Um, Working Monster, welcome. Keen, Azira, Coffee Bean, my editor. Will PK is here. Waterproof Koala, Bigfoot's BFF. Mamito, yeah, has returned. Lily Lu Wu, Claire. Glee, Legendary Worm, Neb Neb 5000, Sky Raven 89. Oh my god, I thought I had notification sounds turned off, but welcome to the Flamboyance Jippo 164. Dude, thank you so much for the Prime. I really appreciate it, man. Theophysics also is here. We got Wyan the Weon. I hope I'm saying your name right. Guys, Solar Flare, welcome. Morning Glory, welcome. Blue Yoshi, uh, Jadasaurus, Bearman 001. Oh my god, I'm like not even close to the bottom. You guys are insane. Uh, Derpy Smells Bad, Bigfoot Legend- I said Legendary already. Monster Icon's back. Uh, Koji Aura Nemo. I mean, we've- we've got so many. I'm literally not even halfway through. Um, I- I'll, I'm gonna keep going for now, because I- I really want to thank you guys for being here. Um, Rekid, thank you for joining. Pokemaniac also is here. Um, Natboy, I don't know if I said hi to you or not yet, but Natboy, welcome. Uh, Barry the Red Mage summon at one- a uh, tier one for one month, man. Barry, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. Guys. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if, if I'm missing names here during this. Uh, Jippo, I already said thank you for the sub. Uh, Ramakayam is back. Welcome uh, to you as well. Demon Fox, welcome. Uh, Simply Ed, Keen, of course, is here. Uh, BB Chuz and uh, 117 Lucky Charms. Guys, I, I, I gotta stop. There's too many of you. I, I really do appreciate it. Holy crap. Guys, this is, a, uh, this is a big one. I'm not gonna lie. I sat down one day a couple weeks ago and I, I made a list of like, what, what could be some like, big stuff that I do, you know, like some breakthrough, like huge streams or huge videos that I could make. And I was like, man, it would be so cool to play with the guy who made Stardew Valley. But honestly, I was like, that is like kind of a, a one in a million shot. But I was like, ah, there is that chance though. Cause you know, we all know Concerned Ape. We all know how good of a guy he is and how awesome he is and how much he cares about his game and his community. And I said, you know what? I bet if I reach out to him, th there's a chance he'll reply to me. So I sent him an email like two or three weeks ago and I said, hey man, my name is Zach. I make YouTube videos. I'm like one of the bigger YouTubers on Stardew now. Uh, been making videos for like five months and I would love to have you on even for just like an hour and, and just like be able to play Stardew with the guy who made it. I'm like, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is be there for like an hour. I sent him a list of like eight video ideas I had with like a two or three sentence description of each one. And, uh, and, and yeah, I just, I was like, here, here it is. Here's like in order. It took me like an hour to write the email and I sent it his way and I got an email back from him. Like, uh, at, I think it was 1:42 in the morning, 1:42 in the morning, my time. So for him, it was, uh, I live in the Eastern United States. He lives in the Western U S so for him, it wasn't that late. I guess that was like just before 11 o'clock PM for him. So I get this email from him. It's 1:40 in the morning. I'm like, oh my God, he replied. I got this email from Stardew Valley. I mean, it's, the man is Stardew Valley incarnate. 
And so I get this email and I go to read it and he's like, hey Zach, uh, yeah, I'd love to join. He's just so nonchalant about it as if he isn't like the craziest, like as if this isn't the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. So uh, he's like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll do something for like an hour. And I was like, um, dude, how am I gonna get like as, as much fun stuff in here with him as I can? So here is the schedule for the night. I wrote it all down. Uh, during work when I probably should have been working guys. Thank you all for the follows. I, I really do appreciate it I'm sorry. I will probably not be able to read many of them tonight um, But here's the schedule for the night Eric is coming on at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern that is 20 minutes from now as you guys know um, And we're gonna be doing a couple of things with him So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask him if he's like definitely stuck to that one hour time frame or if he'd be willing to go like a little bit over because I have another, I have another thing that I will do with him if we have enough time, um, but I'm not totally sure if uh, if he'll be around for that or not. So if he says uh, no to that, and we just have one hour, then we're just we're definitely going to do these two things. First of all, this is the one I'm really excited about. He is going to be showing me his farm. All right. So he took a, or sorry, he tweeted out something a couple of days ago, uh, maybe it was a couple of weeks ago at this point, that just basically said like finally just hit perfection on my farm that I'm playing with. I've been playing with my friends. Um, it's just so awesome, like a great way to stay connected during troubling times. And he just like had a picture of uh, him and his six friends that he played with on the farm uh, in the, uh, like on the top of the summit, right? And it was just like, oh, that's so cool. The man got like perfection on his own game that sold like millions of copies. Like that is just so awesome, you know? And I was like, Dude, I wanna see that farm. I, I wanna go to that farm and I want him to say like, hey, Here's how I play Stardew, you know, because there's a million ways you can play this game. You can farm, you can fish, you can mine, you can speed run, you can min max, you can shoot the villagers with slingshots. I'm not pointing any fingers. You can do anything that you want in this game. It's really kind of crazy. But I mean, come on. It's like listening to Mozart play his own music. How does Eric play this game? And that's what we're going to find out tonight. We're going to take a little tour of his farm and we're going to see exactly that. Uh, and I'm going to hopefully ask him a bunch of questions along the way. I've gotten them. I, I got these questions written down. You can't see it, but I got them color coded on the side as well. Uh, I don't do a lot of prep for my streams normally as far as like planning out what I'm going to say. But uh, I mean, I spent like hours thinking about this today. So we're doing that and uh, I'll ask him a bunch of questions and show him a bunch of uh, really cool um, or sorry, he'll show me a bunch of his really cool parts of the farm and just talk about how he plays. And then um, at 8.30, if he doesn't have more than a full hour, I constructed with the help of Simply at 88, my dad, uh, him and I hopped on a farm on Stardew and we made it from scratch. Uh, we made a maze. All right, I don't want to say too much about it because some of the people who are doing the maze are in the chat right now, but it's going to be a really cool challenge that I think is a mix between like speed and Stardew knowledge and creativity and puzzle solving. And so I think it's gonna be really cool. I worked on that for a couple of hours with my dad and we came up with this really cool route. And so we are going to do that as well. Um, and so he's gonna be the first person to go. And then throughout the rest of the night after Concerned Ape is done being on the stream, uh, we have M who's going to attempt the maze and Brandigan, by the way, if you guys know him from YouTube, he's got like over 10,000 subs, crazy. And uh, Habu, who also is really big on Twitch here. So we got a full night. If he is able to stay for more than an hour, like if he's cool to do that, I do have one more thing I'm gonna do in between the farm tour and in between him doing the maze, and that's a mines speed run. So Em and I did this a little bit ago. It was a two player run to the bottom of the mines as fast as you can. I mean, it's it's the simplest run that you can do on speedrun.com. It's like you start and go to the bottom and we're going to do it incredibly casually. We're just gonna take our sweet time and I'm just gonna ask him some more questions. That's what the color coding's for, so I know when to ask him which question. And uh, we're just gonna go to a nice little casual speed run. Floor 50 in the mines, ask him some more stuff. And uh, hopefully, even if we come in dead last, be on the official speed run leaderboards with the guy who made the game. I mean, that is just so cool. So yeah, that's what we got for the night. How about it? I really do appreciate all you guys here. I think I heard something about over 200 viewers. I'm at 221 viewers, man. That is crazy. That is the highest I've ever been at for sure. Um, and I'm going to pretend like I'm not incredibly nervous all night to do this. Let me uh, show you guys something. I want to show you something that M. This is this is courtesy of M. If you guys don't know her from my videos, M is my girlfriend. What is playing right now? Um, M is my girlfriend and she... Uh, plays Stardew Valley with me a lot as well. 
And so I'm trying to log into TikTok right now. She, she sent me this TikTok and she said, can you show this on stream? Uh, my, my thing really said for you. And after I watched this, I thought it was hilarious just how how much this was for you. I, this is so weird. I mean, if you guys, it, it doesn't have to be TikTok, but you guys know like how the algorithm sort of knows you better than you know yourself. I mean, what are the odds that M sees this TikTok today? Oh, hold on. I want to pull something up. All right, you guys are about to see yourself. <laughs> hey. Okay, right here. <laughs> Let me refresh it. Ah, oh, come on. Babe. Be big, be big, be big. There. Babe. I'm not your babe. <laughs> what? Hey. I'm not your babe. What in the world, dude, babe? I'm not your babe, because Eric is my babe, or I'm Eric's babe. I don't know, man. Dude, what are the odds the For You page actually delivered this to the person whose babe is is playing with concerned apes today. I don't know, man. I just thought that was hilarious. So thank you, M, for that one. M says, hey, babe, in the chat. M, don't you dare say that to me in front of the guy, all right? Don't you do it. You, you better, I'm not your babe tonight. Tonight, I'm concerned, I'm concerned apes, babe. He's gonna join the stream at some point and I'm gonna be saying something weird and I apologize for that in advance, Eric. It is the way that I am. I do know, um, oh, uh, yeah, that guy's really big on TikTok. I haven't watched his stream. Someone, a Lunar, you want to, like, link him to me? You want to whisper that to me, his his link? I want to check him out. Um, yeah, dude, Shosika, thank you. So, so, I always mess your name up. Sko Shika, subscribing at tier one. Thank you so much, Sko. Wow, awesome to have you back. Thank you for the sub. Um, yeah, if, if you guys know me also, I, I do have to wrap this up soon because I want to do some YouTube intro stuff before I hop in a call with him. But if you uh, if you have ever seen the way that I play, you know that I like to do, you know, the stuff that's a little shocking, a little fun. Oh, I wasn't planning on getting this out, but here I have within arm's reach at all times, no matter where I am. I always have my Jojo Mart sweatshirt, you know, and here it is upside down for you. I always have my Jojo Mart sweatshirt. I like to, you know, just do things that are shocking and a little bit crazy and fun. Brandy again with the boo, as always, whenever I pull that sweatshirt out. Um, yeah, I like to do things in a shocking way, and I've I've long said for months now, I've played this game for over a year and a half, and I've streamed it for a year now, and I always said, like, man, if I ever play with Concerned Ape, or if he ever sees this, man, he's not, he's not gonna like what I did to his game. I, I like, <laughs> I think at one point during one of my streams when we were doing an evil playthrough, I shot Evelyn with a slingshot. So, like, I know I can trust you guys to be cool and not tell him about that because that would be, uh, that'd be a little scary for me. So, uh, yeah. Wallagug is here also, man. Welcome, Wallagug. Guys, if you know Wallagug from YouTube, check him out also. Um, he makes great stuff. He was on with me yesterday. So, yeah, he shot Vince. I shot everyone, man. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much what I got. I, I'm going to do my YouTube intros right now. If you guys are new here, as many of you are, uh, in case you don't know, I treat my live streams pretty much as recording sessions for my YouTube videos. And so this is the part where you say hi, YouTube. All right, so get them ready. Get them ready. And I'm going to put on my intro song and we're going to do the intro live right here. I may or may not re-record this afterwards because I really want to get this one right for YouTube. But also, I think coasting off the energy of what we've got tonight, this will be a fine in, uh, fine intro. So we're going to do it for both the uh, farm tour, and we're going to do it for the speed run, and we're going to do it for the maze. Um, and we may we may use all of them, we may use none of them. I don't know. But here we go. Let's do the uh, farm tour first. Places, everybody. Say hi, YouTube, if you want to see yourself in the future. <clears throat> My people, I am playing Stardew Valley with the guy who made it. I am here with more viewers than I've ever had in my life. It's 236 people are all spamming high YouTube right now. And it's all because of Eric Baroni. All right. I am hopping on his farm that he recently just achieved perfection on. And we're going to take a look at how the man who made Stardew Valley plays his own game. All right, so we're gonna hop around. We're gonna look at all the different parts of his farm. We're gonna talk to him about the people that he plays on that farm with. And then I also have like a whole other list of questions that we're gonna go through. So without any further ado, let's meet the man himself, Concerned Ape. Wow, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Sometimes it takes more than one try. 
Sometimes it takes me like one or two and then everyone laughs at me, but I, I mean, I got an A plus from Brandigan. You can't ask for much more than that. So, and, and oh my God, the spam, the high YouTube spam. Crazy. You guys did really good for that. All right, here we go. Let's queue up the second one. Let's queue up the second one. I always restart the music over as if I don't put that in in post anyway, but it just makes it more exciting. All right, so let's do the uh, the mind speed run right now. <clears throat> My people, speedrunning is about a combination of skill and knowledge, and who knows started better than the guy who made it. I am going to rush to floor 50 of the mines as fast as I can with Concerned Ape himself. Myself and Eric are going to start on a new farm and get to floor 50 as fast as we can, and we're just gonna have a little chit chat along the way. I mean, it's supposed to be for speed, but honestly, I just wanna get to know the guy. And so uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. That was a fast one. That was a fast one. Brandigan tried. He tried to get this sub in in the intro, but he was just, just slow, man. <laughs> Brandigan, thank you for the prime, man. I appreciate it. Subbing for three months now. All right, that's number two. That's number two. We're moving efficiently. I'm telling you, this is a whole night of efficiency. We got a hype train going right now. 94% of the way there. Thank you guys for everyone who has contributed to that. Oh my God. All right. <sighs> intro number two is done. Intro number three. Get them ready again, you know it. <clears throat> <clears throat> I need more water. I'm sorry, that was awkward. I really built that up. All right, so this one is going to be for the maze now. And I don't have a plan for this. And thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Um, I thought I had all sound notifications turned off. I don't know. Sub sounds are still going through. Um, thank you for the 100M. <sighs> and again, guys, thank you all for the follow if I missed them. I'm sorry, I hope you can understand. All right, let's do this uh, mines intro now. Or sorry, not mines, the uh, the maze. My people, one of the things that I love about Stardew the most is that there are so many ways to play it. And tonight I'm playing it in a way I don't think anyone else has ever played before because I have created with the help of my dad, Simply at 88, a Stardew Valley maze. It's got a whole bunch of different sections to it. It's a combination of, you know, speed and also just trying to figure out puzzles and just problem solving. And it's gonna be really exciting. I'm doing this with M, my girlfriend, Brandigan, by the way, from YouTube, and Habu from Twitch. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Concerned Ape, the guy who made Stardew Valley. They're all going to be taking a shot at my maze. And whoever has the fastest time, I have set up with one of my mods, Riv77. She is going to custom draw their Stardew Valley character just like I do. Or sorry, just like I have on my t-shirt uh, that I sell, which I will put a picture of right here is the picture that Riv made for me for that shirt. And so whoever wins is going to have that really cool uh, picture drawn for them. And so, uh, may the fastest time win. And so, for my Twitch people, we're gonna record those all at separate times. I'll probably splice them together for the video. Um, and again, the people who are running know that if they are participating in the run, then they cannot see, like, they won't watch ahead of time. Because that would be a big advantage. Excuse me, so. Uh, but after they're done, they can watch, so. Uh, Sko, thank you for the 100 bits. Bubble, thank you for the 12. And Sko, thank you for another 100. Level 2 of the hype train. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. That's all I got. That's all, like, the official business I have to take care of now. Uh, we've got, like, nine more minutes to hang out. Let me tell you guys a story while I wait right here. Um, geez, I'm talking a mile a minute. I'm very excited, guys. I won't even lie to you. I was pretty nervous. I was pretty nervous to start this stream. I'm getting into the swing of things now, though. It's exciting, though. Blade, hello. Um, hi to everyone. Uh, getting into the swing of things. I'm feeling better. So... Let me tell you a story. The other day, Em and I were standing out in uh, her front yard throwing a little frisbee around, you know? We were just trying to just pass the time, have a little fun, you know? A little, little outdoor frisbee throwing, you know? Who doesn't love that? And, I, uh, you know, it's cicada season, especially if you live in the United States, like, on the eastern side. It's it's just so obviously cicada season. Um, Aloha, thank you for the thousand bits. I, I appreciate that so much. Thank you, Aloha, um, for the thousand. Wow. Um, so Emma and I were throwing frisbee around in the yard the other day, and there's, she's got one big tree that all of the cicadas just decided to congregate around. They were all just like, this is going to be our home from now on. We, the cicadas, claim this. And, you know, being the good boyfriend that I am, I was trying to, like, throw the frisbee, like, closer and closer to that area. She really wanted to stay away from it because she was scared of, the, of stepping on a cicada somewhere. And I kept trying to, like, lead her a little bit more, a little bit more <laughs> closer to it. She doesn't know I was doing this either until just now. 
and I was trying. <laughs> yeah, see, there she is. Um, and, and so I was like leading her more and more towards the tree. And at one point I threw it, it was just too close. And she was like really like trying to tiptoe so that she didn't step on any of the cicadas. And I came running up behind her and I was like, I'm just going to run up behind her. And just the, like the, the sound of me running to her will scare her, you know? And I run up behind her. She's like, ah, and then I slow down. And on my last step of slowing down, you know, you do that like doo -doo 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 feet thing to slow down. And I stepped right on a cicada and I became the fool because that thing squished and went up between my toes and made a sound that M heard. And I think that is just the most clear evidence of karma that I've ever seen. So there is my gross story that I just told in front of a whole bunch of people. <laughs> in front of 265 people, I just talked about the cicada juice going between my toes. So I hope that you liked that and I hope you didn't decide that was enough to turn the stream off. Skoshika, thank you for the two gifted subs. Goes to Dodgy Do. Oh, that is not pronounced Dodgy Do. That is pronounced Dogdy Do. Uh, and I know that because they enter my damage competition. Dog, I am uh, editing that right now. Thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, Sko, thank you for the sub. And it also goes to uh, Cali, Mar Cali Marilone. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, and oh, another one from uh, Stribbles Plays. Subbing at tier one. Thank you so much, Stribbles. I appreciate that so much. And guys, thank you all for the follows as well. Wow, greetings from Sweden. Guys, thank you for uh, uh, particularly all of my Eastern Hemisphere people who are, you know, joining me at post midnight right now into the late hours. Um, if you guys can't stay for the full thing, I understand. It's it's more fun live, it is. But the whole stream is going to be available immediately after this stream tonight on the VODs YouTube channel, which is in the about section below or the description of any of my videos. And then obviously I'm gonna make uh, two or three videos out of our time together tonight with uh, Concerned Ape. So <clears throat> if you can't stay the whole time because you got to sleep, that is fine. I understand. Life is busy, but it's big. It's a big stream tonight. Ah, <sighs> man. So that that's all I have for now. I think um, I, I told him I'd call him at eight. I don't know if he's going to hop in this stream or not ahead of time, but I'm just going to leave my Discord open there so I can get ready to. Wow, Severance says school is in six hours. People are finishing up school here soon too, aren't they? I think, uh, I mean, I'm in, I, I just graduated college at the end of May. So I, wow, I've been out of college for a month now. Feels like I just graduated, but M's brother just finished today for the first time uh, in high school. He just finished ninth grade, which is, uh, you know, that, that flew by too. I feel like, I feel like he just started that recently, but yeah. I'm sorry if I missed channel point rewards. I did say I would wear the flamingo tie I'm going to take your word for it. I, I definitely probably missed a tie at some point. And so I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to put that thing on. I've got a channel point reward. If you don't know, it's the flamingo tie. You may have seen it on YouTube. I disabled my other channel point reward for the night because I'm not wearing the pink wig when I'm playing in front of 300 people with the guy who made Stardew Valley. All right. <laughs> but I will wear the tie. The tie is fun and doesn't get in my mouth and cause me pain. <laughs> PCG Matt subbing for nine months at tier one. Thank you so much. This is what an exciting night. It really is. So yeah. Um, yeah, thank you to all my friends for joining me tonight. You guys are from all over the place. That's really interesting too. Like I know, I, I get to see my YouTube analytics because I can only stream at this time. And, but YouTube, I mean, like people can watch YouTube at any time. And I upload at like noon Eastern every time I upload. And so, uh, Normally, like, I got people from all over, which is just so cool to me. So, so cool. I only have an experience with one person. Gosh, I'm, like, all burpy. I've only, I only have an experience with one person who's, uh, who lives outside the United States. His name is Ruben. He hasn't, uh, come around to the stream. He comes around to the stream so every once in a while, and, uh, he's from the Netherlands as well. He was very, very fun. <laughs> Keen, thank you for another 100 bits, guys. The hype train's still going at level three. Thank you to everyone who contributed to that. I think, I, I really hope I got everyone who did. Um, but a lot of followers coming in, so I'm missing some. Penguin Panda, welcome, my friend. It's good to have you. Um, <laughs> thank you. Lucky Charm says, I like your chicken. So this, the YouTube video that explains how I got this is coming up soon. So like mute the stream for like 30 seconds if you don't want that spoiled. But I just did a Junimo Kart challenge with, um, uh, oh my God. Oh, hold on one sec. I just did a Junimo Kart challenge with Brandigan. That was... Oh, dude, I can't believe it. Concerned Ape, dude. Thank you for the sub at Tier 3, man. Wow, it is an honor, man. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, man. And, and of course, thank you for the sub. 
Guys, he's here. He's here. Who cares about the chicken? All right. I won this in a Junimo cart. 1v1 battle against Brandigan. One, you could say. Uh, it says Stardew Noob on it. Uh, it's not going to focus for me right now, but it says Stardew Noob. I had that engraved because I, uh, I actually lost that. But Concerned Ape is here, everybody. He is here, the man of the hour. Thank you so much. Dude, Eric, thank you for joining me tonight, man. Here, let me call you. I'm assuming that's your very generous way of saying that you're ready to talk to me. Guys, he's here. Hello. Hello. Eric, how are you, man? Doing well. How are you doing? Great. Can I call you Eric or Mr. Ape? Or yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Should I call you Zach? Uh, Unsurpassable Z the third is... Yeah, Zach's fine. That's good. <laughs> wow, dude, thank you for uh, joining me tonight. I will be up front. A little nervous, man. I have uh, never streamed to, like, more than 100 people before. And so there's a lot in here right now, but I'm okay, excited. Okay, well, I just, re I just retweeted you, so you'll probably start getting some more oh good lord eric you're killing just me man. don't look at just don't look at the number i have it turned off i have it turned <laughs> off but they keep telling me uh dude i stream with my viewer count off because i try to uh I, I try to just like you know put the best stuff out regardless of how many people are uh are oh my god my phone's blowing up i gotta get rid of this thing um yeah dude thank you so much seriously man this is a, a huge opportunity for me so um yeah are you ready to get into it yeah Sure, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Let me uh, turn my mods off before I end up running around your farm at 10 times speed. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, uh, I don't know if you want to send me an invite code or through Steam or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, the okay, first well, thing yeah. we're doing, we'll hop on your farm first. I, uh, I don't know if you heard, but we'll oh, do... Oh, okay. Uh, is that, what, is yeah. that what we're doing? Yeah, sorry. I forgot. Okay, I, realized I didn't explain um, that to you. No, that, that's... That's all good. Sure. All right, I'm booting. I'm booting up Stardy Valley. Sure. Yeah, I'll give you a, an outline of what we're doing. So I, I want to ask first, also, like, are you confined to one hour for sure, or could I steal you for a little longer? Uh, we could maybe go a little longer. Okay. Nine yeah. fifteen, maybe, or I guess for you that's uh five fifteen. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure that would be fine. Whatever time that, it is. That'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be sure. That'd be fine. All right, perfect. Because I got I got some fun stuff for you. I think you'll like it all. So. Um, we're gonna okay. do I'm your farm. To it. Yeah, sure. We're gonna do your farm tour first, and then we're gonna do that level 50 mine speed run, if you can call it a speed run, because <laughs> we'll be going pretty casual. And then uh, I have yeah. a maze for you to solve, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that maze. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, curious to see what you have in store for me. I'm. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it. It's got like a good combination of like just good old fashioned wandering around maze, but then also some like some thinkers. You know, got a little little puzzle solving for you. Well, I've got. I might have some uh, challenges for you on my farm actually that we can that we can do. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me let me send you uh, an invite code. Yeah, absolutely. Hope this works. I, I um, put in a cabin for you. Oh my god, it's such an honor. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. it. Uh, let me make sure I'm not showing it to everyone else. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Go connecting. I almost always end up posting most of the farms that I'm on, so this is like one of my first times even just uh, joining. Yeah, you'll get to experience the lag. <laughs> oh no! Of not not being the host. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's called quarantine farm. Yeah. So, th this farm it was the farm that I've been playing with a group of friends, and we kind of started it like a little over a year ago, when like kind of all the lockdowns started happening. Mm. Um. So it's the farm that I I tweeted about that we had just reached 100% completion. Yeah. Recently. Um, so it's going to be a little bit weird. Um, we're we're kind of like just messing around with it now. We, we've we've kept playing beyond 100%, and we've just kind of like messing around and having fun with it. So some of it I'll just have to kind of tell you what it used to be. Um, you'll see. Sure. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I'm waiting outside your door. Yeah, I'm just pulling up Stardew so they can actually see it. All right, 
Cool. So here we are on the quarantine farm. Oh, Evelyn's talking to me. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, are, are you at the uh, main house? I think so, yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm over here now, yeah. Top left. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Sorry, I was greeted by Evelyn originally. Here, I'll do my favorite emote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, well, I guess yeah. Let me, yeah. Should I give you a little tour? Yeah, I think we'll like bounce. How about you show me like one area, and then I'll hit you with a question, and then uh, we can just kind of bounce back and forth like that. Okay, sure. Yeah. So I mean, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess because we've been kind of just experimenting with stuff. Um, let's go in the greenhouse first. This is a a little cafe that one of the people I've been playing with set up. Um. So a after we like go in the skull caves, we'll sometimes come back here and like sit down and she'll like bring us drinks or <laughs> whatever we order. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> like awesome. Kind of do a little role playing. Yeah. Um, so that that's kind of fun. This used to be all just ancient fruit. We were actually playing legitimately. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, now it's a cafe. <laughs> yeah, that's how you can tell when you've actually made it to the end game is when you get rid of your ancient fruit. <laughs> right, exactly. Why don't you tell me some about the people you play with? Because I think you have seven on this farm, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's just a, a group of my close friends. Um, and like I said, when the uh, lockdown started happening and like, you know, we we weren't supposed to, you know, get together in person, we started this farm as a way to kind of see, like hang out weekly. Um, and we kind of made it this tradition where like every Wednesday we would get together a certain time and play Stardew Valley for a few hours. And uh, we just kept it going and we basically played all the way through the game from start to finish, one, getting it to 100% completion. Um, and some people who are listening might be wondering, wait, how did you do seven players? Well, there's actually a way that you can do that without even using mods. Uh, it requires you to edit a, a value in the uh, startup preferences file, which um, I have actually tweeted about it. If anyone's interested, they can go look at my tweets and there's a, I've, I talk about how to do that, but. Sure. Yeah, I'll link that below. Yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome. Let's, yeah. Uh, let's move on. Okay. Uh, so down here, this is a little uh, green bean maze. This is probably nothing <laughs> compared to your maze, but uh, <laughs> one of my friends uh, set up this and it's just like a little maze to go through. I like it. Yours, uh, yours is more fun than mine. I didn't make mine out of green beans. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, and then these are our sheds. Like when they're actually still full of just kegs. Like every single one is just packed full of kegs. <laughs> like... So we've been kind of we haven't really been uh, managing them since we reached 100, sure. as you can see. Yeah, it's still impressive. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen uh, this? Is this I was going to ask you this later, but yeah. I guess my bigger question will become: There's a bunch of different ways to play Stardew Valley. So, out of you know, between like speed running or just playing normally or playing uh, you know min maxing or role play or just any, any way you can play this game, do you have a favorite way that people enjoy Stardew Valley? I wouldn't say I have a favorite. I mean, I think it's cool that people have found all kinds of different ways to enjoy the game. Um, I, I love the speedrunners. I love the people who do role playing. Uh, I love it all. I think personally, I mean, I, I think the original way I intend, kind of intended the game to be played is in sort of a casual way, just kind of having fun. Um, there's there's no real time limit. You can kind of go at your own pace. And it's like when I play at this point, I've played Stardew Valley so many times that I do kind of like. I wouldn't say min max because there's no like I'm not nearly <laughs> as good as some of these people, but uh, I, I kind of I'm pretty like economical in the way I play the game. You know, I try to you know unlock things as quick as possible, and it, it's just for me it's kind of a way I challenge myself and makes it fun every time I play. Um, but I think the, yeah, like the the classic way to play Stardew Valley is to kind of just go at your own pace, have fun, and just enjoy the world. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I was asking because, you know, there's some guys that stream like Habu, who's in the chat right now. By the way, he says, don't tell me how to play because he is a big <laughs> speedrunner. Um, him and, you know, Cordite and those guys, I mean, if you've seen the number of kegs they have, like south of uh, Marnie's, it, it is like, it's awesome. It's all inspiring the first time you see it. <laughs> yeah, no, that I've, I've followed some of those guys and it's, it's very, it's, I'm just blown away with what they've come up with. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Very cool. Let's uh, let's keep going. Okay. All right. Um, this side of the farm isn't all that interesting, so I actually want to take you down here into the forest to show you yeah. something. Um, this is our. Wait, where are you? Sorry, oh, I cut scene. Okay. Oh, it's okay. This is uh, our racetrack that we made. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, like, I, I was wondering if you wanted to, if I could challenge you to a race. Oh my! Is this like a foot race? Yeah, it's a foot race. So oh, what, uh, <laughs> now the way I, we can do it is, yeah, go ahead. We just we'll, we'll just go to the left, and then whoever can wrap around and you know reach the finish line first wins. Okay. All right. Now I do have to warn you. I did just recently get 17 eggs in the egg hunt, and so I am oh, pretty boy. nice. Pretty nice with it. Don't mean to brag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Let's uh, let's start it off at once the clock hits 5 p.m. Right. How about that? Yeah, that's great. Okay. And and the rules are no coffee. Um, yeah, you can't have any coffee or food or anything. So let me ask you also, before we get started, go! All right. <laughs> oh, that was cheap. Oh my God, it goes this way. I thought it was so much smaller. I can't tell if I'm in the lead or not because of the, I don't know if you're actually Yeah, ahead. right, because of the lag. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's oh. the tech isn't ideal, but <laughs> it's still kind of fun. Oh my God, around the flamingo. No idea what that means to me. Oh no, no, no! I didn't see the bush. Oh, Abigail. Wait. <laughs> no. That's uh, yeah. Abigail's not supposed to be there. My wife. Oh my god! Wait. Might be saving time. Oh my god, it's like so close. I had no idea it was this expansive. Oh no. Got the grass <laughs> trap. Oh, this oh, that no, one gets me every time. I was following yeah. the lead. <laughs> <laughs> I oh didn't come God. up with that trick. That's <laughs> oh, I'm trying to make up for lost time. Oh, it's so close. Oh, you I thought I went left the there. No. Yeah. Oh, the secret shortcut. No, 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 not the rock. Oh, God, I'm falling behind. Oh, no, he's BMing me. <laughs> oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I wish I, I was going to try to pick those up, put them down in front of you. Oh, that would have been <laughs> smart. Oh, man, looks like you're oh, going to win. <laughs> I don't know. I think I only won because you stopped the showboat. I think that's your win. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Very nice, man. Very nice. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of stuff we've been messing around with. I mean, like, we're kind of just hanging out and, like, talking and stuff, but it, it's fun to come up with these things and, yeah, like, a little bit of a sandbox. Uh, another thing we did was uh, Battle Royale Deathmatch in the community center. Okay. <laughs> where And that one actually didn't pan out very well. It wasn't very <laughs> fun, but it was an idea I had where it's like, okay, let's all get, like, a bunch of bombs, and then... It's just all you have in your inventory is bombs. And then there's like, I, I kind of put chests around the community center with like, there's like, okay, so you start out with cherry bombs, but there's like some regular bombs and some mega bombs like <laughs> laid out. And then there'd be like a coffee and maybe some food laid out. And then the rules are just, you know, it's a fight to the death, who at last, last person standing. But the problem was like, the cherry bombs do almost no damage and like the, yeah. the boots that everyone's wearing it was like doing one damage at a time so it's like we no one died it, we were just there for forever and then like the day ended essentially oh man i had i so actually I did something really similar rules on it. yeah, yeah. I, well i did something really similar i did that uh i had a community farm so we had the uh, an unlimited players mod on so i had like 10 people and I, I made a YouTube video about this actually. It was um, a 1v1 tournament. And so everyone had mega bombs and gates. And before the fight started, they took themselves to like one HP or something really close. 
And so then uh, it was just like a one-on-one -on -one and I mean, we were on our community farm, which has like 15 cabins on it. And it was just, uh, yeah, it, it was pretty similar. That was my second attempt though, at, at that's uh, a, doing a battle royale. That's a good idea, like pre-damaging uh, the the health. That's a good idea. Yeah, then, you're, and, then you're not sitting there forever trying to whittle each other's yeah. HP down. The other thing I want to uh, try to revisit with that is, I don't know if explosive ammo deals damage to other people, but someone did recommend trying that instead. Mm. Have some like ranged yeah. attacks. I don't know if that deals damage to people or not though. Uh, I think it does, but it's it's <laughs> like I don't think it'll. I don't think it. It might not explode if it hits them. You'd have to like hit like a thing that's near them. Oh you know? uh, yeah, yeah, interesting. Well, I'll ask you while we go back to the farm to end this day. Um, oh, also, this is the last day of summer. So, is there any like crop-based things you want to show off before? I change. We could restart the day if you want. Well, as you can see, we're in the middle of doing a. Um, quest yeah uh man that was gonna be one of my questions later is how do you say that guy's name and i don't think i'm gonna like the answer uh yeah well i actually regret saying it i i don't i don't like to uh like make give a definite answer on those kind of things you know yeah like it's i feel like it's it's up to the fans to interpret it the way they want with that one like I have a certain way that I say it, but like I don't necessarily think it's you know the canon way. Like I don't know. I mean, uh, I think the second you the, said it was, yeah. I think it became the canon way. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I know. I think you're right. It's okay though. Well, I I'm gonna keep saying key. I think just because yeah. I feel I don't know. I've done it so many times now. <laughs> um, That's fine. Do you want to restart the day or do you want to uh, move on? Uh, it, it's okay. We can move on. I mean, I I actually copied this, so it's like it's this isn't affecting our actual. Yeah. Um, oh, are you gonna get, you're gonna get into sure. my bed with me? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. We have a rule on that community farm. That's the only rule on the anarchy servers. Everyone has to sleep in the same bed. So I'm kind of just used to it. <laughs> okay. Um, Hey, I, I had a suggestion in the chat from oh, yeah. uh, Blade. He said you should put this okay. farm code or like just uh, not farm code, but like a copy of this save file somewhere. Cause I, I'm sure tons of people would want to check it out for themselves. Well, I feel like, it, is it even that cool? I mean, well, this is my oh, house. Eric. Oh, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a cool farm, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, it is? Yeah. So this is, uh, this is your house, huh? This is the nice I one. mean, I feel like I've seen way cooler farms on you know, people sharing them on like the Discord and the subreddit and all of that. But oh, this is much better looking than mine is. Yeah, if we have time, I might have to we'll show take, you mine real we'll quick. Take. But it's uh, okay. <laughs> it's a little, a little different of a design. We've got a shrine to Wombus, you know. Mm, I can appreciate that. <laughs> for sure. Ah, oh, very cool though. So, uh, you're unmarried then, I guess, on this world. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's correct. Yeah, do you normally uh, like have a favorite marriage candidate or do you just ride solo? Uh, I mean, I usually get married when I play, but I I, I certainly won't say what my favorite marriage candidate yeah. is. I mean, that's <laughs> another thing where I, I can't say that because then, yeah. you know, <laughs> it'll create a rift in the Stardew Valley community. <laughs> How about first instead then? First. Mm. That's, a, that's a good get around. That's a good one. Like the when I, the first time I ever played, yeah. Jeez, that's tough. If I remember, it was either Abigail or Penny. Uh, I'm an Abigail man myself, so I can appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> I also like the uh, the magic turban. That's my hat of choice on myself when I play. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that's uh, I think that's pretty much well. I guess I could show you our island. Yeah, absolutely. You want and I think also, um, I, I had a, I put something out a while ago. This is well before we had plans to actually meet, but I had just asked out of curiosity, if you could ask Concerned Ape one thing, what would it be? And someone had asked how you have your museum laid out. I don't know if you wanted to show that off. Oh, I mean, we could. I, the thing is like, you know, this is the farm I've been playing with a bunch of other people. So sure. it's not necessarily my, layout but uh yeah as you can see it's all ancient fruit yeah we haven't really touched this in a while that's why it's all ready to harvest but yeah um 
Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not very organized with the museum to tell you the truth. I'll kind <laughs> of maybe like slightly try to like do the colors together. Yeah. But that's about it. Like I'm not very meticulous about that. Wow, I, this is so cool. I think I think your design, I don't know how much of it you're responsible for, but I, I think this is super cool. Well, thank you. I mean, yeah, the my house is the only thing that I think I fully designed, but um, there's, uh, yeah, some of the other people I play with are very uh, talented designers, I would say. So. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get and a I, chance. I, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't show you their houses, but there's some cool ones. Yeah, we'll swing back there before we're done. Okay. Wow, very cool. Um, let me think of a question. What do I want to ask next? Um, uh, so this is, I mean, you've touched on it kind of like as of recent, but uh, how, how much do you play your own game? Like how much time do you spend playing versus, you know, creating? Um, I play, I mean, I have played it a lot. Um, I don't like at this point I don't just I haven't just booted up like a single player farm in a while although every time there's a new update I'll like play through the whole game you know once on a single player farm and then often we'll have like a multiplayer farm going at the same time mm -hmm. so I mean I, I do play it quite a bit still it's like with this group farm that what I'm showing you right now I mean I've been playing it every week for over a year at this point um but yeah i mean it's like i still enjoy playing it which is pretty surprising to me actually but yeah i think I, like personally myself it's, it's, I have, yeah yeah I'm, I'm sorry you keep going oh no i was just gonna say i mean it, it's because like i made the game as the kind of game that i would like to play you know it's like sure. it's my kind of dream game in a way so I, I I think the the fact that I still like playing it just is because of that. You know, I kind of I made it for myself essentially. Yeah, I, there's a quote that I really like, which is "Your best position to serve the person you once were." And I think that's really cool that you you know have been able to build. I mean, everything that's in the game is is exactly how you would have done it. So that is that is really cool. That's that's something that I don't think a lot of people get to experience, especially not at this scale. Um. Let me ask you also, now this is kind of just outside, we can walk around and look at some some of the houses at the same time, I'll just follow your lead, but um, what has been sort of your favorite experience that's come out of, you know, Stardew Valley? Um, hmm. And, and that can be in-game or well, it can be real life. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, there's like a lot of things, so it, it's, it's really hard to just pick one. I mean, I might briefly touch on a couple things. It's uh, like w one thing that comes to mind is just after I released Stardew Valley in 2016, um, I went to PAX like a few um, months afterwards, uh, Penny Arcade Expo in Seattle. Yeah. And I had a little booth there. Um, and it was just, just meeting the fans in real life who had played Stardew Valley and they loved the game. And I met just so many people who were, I don't know, it, it just made it really real, you know? Because at that point, it had just been me basically alone in front of my computer uh, coding this game and doing all the art and everything for like four and a half years. And it was all, even when I released the game, it was all virtual. Like everything that I knew about, you know, people playing the game was all just on the screen, which when you think about it, it's just literally me sitting at a desk looking at a piece of, you know, metal and silicone in front of me. It's like, it's, it's not like a... You know, it's, it wasn't real until I actually met the people in real life and they were like, you know, we love this game and that. So that was really touching. Um, and it kind of just made it feel like all the work I had done had paid off and people were enjoying it. And it was really like affecting their life in a real way, you know? That, that is so awesome, man. I mean, that's uh, not nearly at the same scale, but that's a lot of the same, you know, inspiration that, that comes from me making videos and stuff. It's just. You know, I haven't gotten to meet any of those people in real life yet, but I hope to one day. And that's that's so cool, man. That is really so cool. And you know, yeah. before, before we sort of get off that topic of good experiences, I, in my research, trying to make sure I didn't ask you a question you've been asked a million times, I watched uh, you got to sit down for sort of like a co-interview with the guy who made Harvest Moon. 
right? Right. That, that was, was like actually one the other ago. thing I was gonna. Yeah. That was the other thing I was gonna mention. Um, oh, hey, Krobus. Yeah, that was the other thing I was gonna mention. Meeting uh, Mr. Wada, the creator of Harvest Moon. That was like really, I don't know, kind of mind blowing. Uh, just that you know, this was the guy who paved the way for everything I have done. Um, Harvest Moon, you know, was his creation. And then, if it wasn't for that, I would have never made Stardew Valley. So, mm. just being able to meet the guy who created this experience that, like, was so meaningful to me when I was a kid, um, and basically inspired what I'm trying to do, which is, you know, Harvest Moon was so special to me. Playing a lot of those games, you know, when I was a kid was so special and meaningful to me. Like, I want to be able to do that for new generations, you know? Like, I'm trying to essentially do the same thing that Mr. Wada did for me when I was a kid. Mm. Um, that's kind of like what drives me in a way. So to be able to meet this guy, it was just really, I, I don't know. I don't know even what to say, but it was just really cool. That is that is so awesome, man. That that is really cool. Um, yeah, I that's. Is there anything else you want to show me before we sort of wrap up this portion? Um, I don't think so. Let me see if anyone is like sending me messages. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think. I think I showed you all the main stuff. All right, I've got a uh, one wrap up okay. question for you then uh, to send us home. What do you want to say to the Stardew Valley community? I would say just thank you for, you know, being a part of this and uh, making this all happen. Like, if, if it wasn't for the community, I wouldn't be where I am now. Uh, we wouldn't be making these, these memories and this experience. I mean, it's just... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's because of all of you guys that we even have, you know, this whole thing. So just thank you, and I appreciate it. I'm glad that you like the game. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you, Eric, for uh, letting <laughs> us get an inside look at how the guy who made Stardew Valley plays his own game. Thanks, man. Yeah, no um, problem. Yeah, so that's all I got for this. And then if you want to do the mine speed run next, let me let me take you out of that, you know, nice casual comfort zone that Stardew Valley was meant to be played in and let's speed to the bottom of the mines as fast as we can. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Um I will Are host you going to send me an yeah, invite sure. code? All right, all right. Sounds good. I will host it. Uh and I will do that real quick. I did a thing yesterday. Have you ever seen the show Taskmaster? Uh, no. It's a, a British TV show, and, uh, let me set this farm up real quick. It's a British TV show where they give them, like, really kind of, like, easy tasks to do, whether it's, like, uh, you know, hide this pineapple somewhere on your person, or, you know, try to, uh, <laughs> they did one where they had, like, a golf hole in the middle of, like, a six-foot radius, uh, green. It was, like, get this potato in the golf hole without touching the green. Just weird challenges like that. They have a bunch of comedians okay. try it. And, uh, and they just like, it's like whose lines it anyway, like the points don't matter. Um, but I was doing that for Stardew Valley. So I had them, uh, the first thing I had them do was they had 10 minutes from a fresh farm to just sell the most expensive item that they could. And I, I don't want to spoil it because some of the people don't know the results yet that were in it yesterday who are watching. But uh, that was really fun to see them like from literally day one. I mean, some people tried to sleep and like grow something. Some people just tried to go in the store and buy something and sell it back. And then I had to hide this Wombus statue. You have 60 seconds. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> they had to put that giant it's, statue somewhere on the like in Pelican Town. Well, this is this is why I agreed to do this stream with you. It's because your your videos were just so creative. You know, like Thank I was like, man, much. yeah. <laughs> it was just uh, I don't know. You you uh, have a really a uh, a lot of creativity when it comes to doing stuff with Stardew Valley that other people haven't really done before. Yeah. Thank you very so much. So I, I appreciate that. Yeah. And also, I have to say, it was also the my people thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I, I that, put it that, on a t-shirt and that's when it became yeah. a thing forever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like a, it's like a magic spell. 
<laughs> it, it was like a natural thing. Like I, I kind of just found myself starting a lot of streams that way. Um, and and then I was like, you know what? It's it's it, gonna be my thing. It, I yeah. It's genius. It's genius. <laughs> Thank you okay. very much. Yeah. yeah, that means a lot. Um, there's your invite code. I have the game paused, so you should just be able to join. And I'm gonna make it so that they can see it again after I get rid of the invite code. And Stardew, here we go. And so yeah, this is, right. uh, we'll start the timer right when uh, I unpause the game. And then we just go to the bottom of the mines to level 50 as fast as we can. Oh. And, and are we on it? Okay, so is it just you and me? Yeah, just you and me. Okay. All right. And what's your record? I did this with my girlfriend a little bit ago, and I think we got 24 minutes, something like that. I don't know. It wasn't anything impressive, but I think uh, we'll do better this time around. Man, and what's the what? Do you have like a strategy? Uh, normally, I'll try to go to the mines and break a bunch of rocks. No, I'll I'll try to like grab some forage. Well, I mean, we got Habu in uh, here. He could probably give us some help, but. Like, should we just go to sleep for four days until yeah. the mine opens up? Yeah, so okay. that's, I guess, big picture stuff is like, oh, we sleep until uh, whenever the berries all spawn. I think that's the 19th day of spring. Habu, tell me. Um, I think we sleep until the 19th day of spring so that all those, like, it's berry season. And that'll help us okay. with energy. Because the biggest thing we're fighting against is having enough energy to get far down in one day. Um, 15th is what they're telling me. So we'll sleep until spring 15 then go to the mines and just, you know, pick away. And if we think we can get five more levels down, then we keep going. And if we don't, you just pass out and then go for it the next day. Oh, try boy. to go on okay. like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try <laughs> to go on fun. good luck days, yeah. Um, and, and if we're like slow, it's perfectly fine. Like we're, <laughs> it's okay. This is more about just having some fun with the no, questions. No, we're going, we're doing the new world record right oh here, God. right now. All right. Yeah. It's, it's a shame Habu's going to have to watch it happen live. <laughs> I'm just, sure he's laughing actually, over there. I don't think he has this one, but man, whoever is, is, is probably going to be sad after this. All right. Uh, Zach, Zach, are you kind of like a speedrunner in general, or <laughs> are you more casual? <laughs> no, I'm not a speedrunner. Um, yeah. I've been I've been getting into it a little bit um, as of recent, but I'm, I'm quite bad. I'm, I'm still okay. pretty... I like to try to pinpoint the easiest records to get and then I go for those um yeah like it's you know the ones that have like one run that someone did four years ago when they were drunk with their friends like those are the records I try to take you know not not the one that is being submitted as an AGDQ run um yeah that's sure. that's yeah. my method you gotta you gotta pick your battles right yeah. mm -hmm. um it's all about the strategy yeah right uh I gotta say if Habu's in the chat and some of these other speedrun people uh I gotta talk to you guys about an idea I had. I don't know if on stream is the right place to do it, but um, I, I would... think. Well, I mean, this is as much time as you want to put into this. Like, I'm I'm okay to go over. Um, yeah, if you want to, you can or whatever. Well, it was just a very loose idea I had of maybe doing some kind of like I would sponsor a competition, like a, on Twitch. Uh, you know, with cash prizes. It was kind of because you know how there was like that Twitch uh, Rivals event. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, I could just do one that's the Concerned Ape competition or whatever, <laughs> the Stardew Valley Cup. You know. You seem to With, have the chat uh, support. Yeah. Yeah, and I was thinking, you know, if I don't know, like, uh, I don't know who would compete. You know, maybe Habu, maybe Tushi. You know, Myself, maybe some obviously. of these other people. Yeah, you could, or I was thinking, you know, if you want, you could be like the announcer or whatever, kind of oh, like. Oh man. Yeah, it just depends. That's why I'm asking. Like, are you like a serious I... uh, speedrunner <laughs> or like, you know? I would be uh, much better. I I think it would be better to put me as a commentator rather than as a competitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know, oh, yeah, we I'd could love do, to that. do that. It's. Yeah, we should we should all talk about it sometime. Hey, I I, I have an idea fun. that I was actually already talking about with someone. I'll uh, I'll send you some messages some messages uh, after then. But yeah. Okay. Very cool. Uh, all right. So you're in here. You're paused. You're ready to go. Yep. All right. So start, straight yeah. to bed, right? Straight, straight to, to bed. bed. All right. Okay, here we go. Do it. World record incoming. Three, two, one, go. And we're sleeping I'm right already, to the 50. I'm already slow. <laughs> this is the uh, 
what we call the thrilling content right here, where we just continuously sleep for days on end. Oh no, I'm, oh God, I'm already <laughs> messing it up. I'm already messing it up. Whenever you start accidentally typing in the chat, you gotta decide, am I going to take the fast way to get out of here and just type enter and let everyone know? Or am I going to backspace and be slow? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny. So, so wait, we sleep all the way till the 19th? Uh, 15th, I thought it was 19th. 15th, okay. Yeah. And then we're doing salmonberry harvest? Uh, yeah, just pretty much go around, grab the salmon berries, just get as much like forage as you can. Okay, now do you want to go uh, east or do you want to or south? Maybe uh, like go... how about? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I'll go south to the forest and okay. collect berries there. Yeah, you don't need a ton, a ton. So okay. Uh, and are see, we going to the mines on? Oh, or should we just run to the mines and collect berries on the yeah, way? Yeah, let's do that. You go the top path, okay. and I'll go through town and like grab the okay. stuff by the community center. Sounds yeah. good. Okay, Blade said just forage on the way. I'm I'm looking to the chat for the smart people that know what's up. <laughs> now, uh, like, should we remove stuff from our inventory, or does that not even matter? Like, uh, I I think well, you won't need a lot of stuff. Like, we're not growing anything, so you could. But we don't have like a chest, so. Oh, can you put tools in the dresser? Oh, there is no dresser. Never mind. I'm tripping. Habu says it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, let me ask while we're just sleeping for three more days here also. what? Uh, so sure. I, I asked you a lot about how you play during the last portion. I want to ask about Eric a little bit here and just sort of okay. get to know you some. So what does uh, what's your current schedule look like these days? Uh, my current schedule is pretty much I get up, uh, have breakfast, and then just start working. Um, I can't say exactly what I'm working on because it's a secret, sure. but... I've, I have announced that, oh wait, so it's 15th, yep. we're going out, right? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I have announced that there are two projects I'm working on that are secret. No one knows what they are. Well, some people do, but <laughs> uh, I haven't announced what they are publicly. Um, and so I basically, I'm working on one of the projects, kind of like nine to five, and then I, in the evenings and on the weekends, I work on the other project. So like, that takes up a huge amount of my time. Uh, other than that, like kind of just, you know, trying to relax a little bit. Oh crap, I like totally forgot to collect salmon berries. I don't think that they're actually out yet. I think it's soon. No, they are, they are. Oh, they really? Are. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing some. Wow, I'm not. You got some well before me. All right, I'm making my way yeah, up here. Yeah, it's like, uh, Sometimes I, I play games with people too, like in the evening, like uh, I've been playing with some uh, other game devs that I know. We've been playing uh, Seven Days to Die. Have okay. you ever played that? I have not. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. That's been fun. Yeah, very cool. Other than that, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I try to work out when I can. Uh, Oh wait, why am I killing these things? I'm I'm like wasting time. All right, you here. Can, on the ladder. Yeah, it's also like you can kill those guys for a chance at the ladder because then you don't have to use energy. I need to focus. Zoom out some. That's not the right oh, one. Man, my my toolbar is not set up efficiently. Just stood still for like 30 seconds. It's okay. Ladder. Nice. Yeah, I try to zoom out as much as I can so that you can, like, see everything. But yeah, well, that's really cool, man. I uh, I think that's really fun that you've you know, found more projects that you like working on. Sorry, I'm also trying to kill slimes at the same uh, time. There's a ladder down there, yeah. Nice. I don't know if this is uh, gonna fall under that same, like, you don't want to answer because then it's official <laughs> sort of thing. Um, uh -huh. But are there any characters in Stardew Valley that are inspired by people either that you know in real life or famous people or anything? Uh, yes. So most of the, the characters I just kind of came up with, um, they're kind of maybe based on general abstractions of people that I've met you know, in my life or certain archetypes that I've noticed. Mm -hmm. But there is one character who is like legitimately based on someone that I know. Um, 
Although I did kind of go beyond to some degree, you know, and kind of embellished a bit. But I won't say who it is. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, there's a ladder at the end of this level, always. Oh, yeah. But you would know, because you coded it, I, you know? I do know that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although I wasn't sure what, you know, what is the strategy. Yeah, I don't sure know. Habu, I'm sure Habu knows. It's okay. I, I've come to accept whenever he's watching me speedrun, I'm going to get made fun of no matter what. Oh, I found the ladder. <laughs> in the center island. Uh, there was a, a theory from Brandigan that he told me back in February that uh, Willie is modeled after Robin Williams. Is that true or is that just a coincidence? Uh, that's just a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> once I, uh, I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. It's true, he does kind of look similar. I, I will admit that. Oh my gosh, we're actually doing pretty good. I think, I'm proud. Gosh. This is a good luck day. I did check ahead of time. Oh, it is? Good. Yeah, that's like the biggest factor. It's because it's... This run is all oh. like ladder spawn oh, rates. Ladder. Nice. Oh, this, this is the worst mine layout. This is one of my biggest regrets in Stardew Valley is <laughs> this, this layout. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it, this is the one if you have a staircase, people skip it in runs. Yep. Absolutely. People often oh. ask me like, "What is what is my biggest regret in Stardew Valley?" And it's I think it's that level. Uh, there's a better sword there. I don't know if you got it or not. Oh no! Oh it's crap! Okay. Can, uh, I guess. Yeah, you can yeah, take you the can. elevator. Okay. Man, I had a question I was going to ask you, but I I know you're not going to answer it. I was going to say I wanted a final answer on whether or not Abigail is the wizard's daughter. But uh, uh, I'm not gonna answer yeah, that. Yeah, no I way. understand. <laughs> <laughs> I had to had to ask. I mean, Abigail's my girl, you know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how would you feel if she was? You know, I think the evidence points towards that in a lot of ways. But I've heard a lot of other crazy theories. I think, uh, yeah, I'd be okay with that. I don't think I dislike Pierre as some people do. Some people really <laughs> give him a hard time for. Uh, for having True. so much money, you know? They're like, him and Lewis, well, he, people will get mad at. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't really intend for him and Lewis to be, like, yeah. <laughs> reviled <laughs> characters at all, but... <laughs> I mean, I can understand why people have issues with them, but, uh... I don't know, I mean... Pierre... I, yeah. I, think, I think, personally, that Lewis cares a lot about the community. He just has, like, a strange... Maybe a strange way of showing it, and... Mm. He does care about, he worries about his position, you know, at, and being respected as the mayor and like, he doesn't want that to be undermined. And maybe he doesn't do it necessarily in the best possible way, but I think that's kind of where he's coming from. It's coming from a place of like, uh, ultimately he cares about the community. But I mean, again, that's the sort of thing where it's like, that's just my interpretation. I don't necessarily, I think the only thing that's canon is what's in the game. Right? Yeah. Like, what, whatever my opinion is beyond what's in the game, I wouldn't even take that as, like, necessarily canon. Sure. Because I'm kind of, I have my own opinion that's based off of just what is presented in the game, but, like. Oh my gosh, this level's giving us difficulties. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, we should probably just kill all this here to move on. And we'll get to floor 30, and then I think we'll call it for the day. Okay. I don't have any more snacks. I ate all my forage already. Oh, green algae though, that helps. Let's see. Oh, there's a bunch down here in the bottom right. Trying to fight five slimes and read my notes at the same time here. Here's a little uh, little Concerned Ape history. I don't know if this is common knowledge or not, but how did you get the name Concerned Ape? Um, that's one where it's kind of like... It, it was a long time ago that I came up with that name. Um, I had some vague idea at the time that it's kind of supposed to say something about the uh, hubris of mankind. 
but I'll I'll just leave it at that. All right. <laughs> Uh, See, as I'm sure as you can tell by now, oh yeah, the ladder's back yeah. up near the beginning. Uh, I'm sure as you can tell by now, I like to be a bit cryptic about yeah. things. No, I like it too. I, I respect that. It is more fun. I mean, I've, in my studies of the game, I have read a lot of theories and it, it definitely is, is fun for a lot of people. Uh, we can, uh, we'll just pass out now. Because this is... Oh yeah? yeah. Okay. Because we can just save for another, another day. We'll see. Maybe we can get to 50 all in one run. Like all in one day here. I think we're gonna do it. I shouldn't have eaten those berries though. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then we'll sleep two days so that we have full energy. And uh, we'll sleep two days at least to get full energy. And we'll also um, we'll also make sure we go on a day that has at least good luck. Okay. I'll uh, I'll let you. Uh, make that call let's wait until you give me the the yeah, okay sure. yep while we're sleeping one of the things i noticed my first time playing of stardew was during the flower dance i couldn't help but notice i'm a little bit yeah i, I kind of got two left feet <laughs> what's what's the deal with the dancing animation at the uh the flower dance uh so wait are we going to let's go. bed yep. again or th bed or no we'll mines? go we'll go we'll go okay. good luck okay um, so, I mean, part of the reason why those animations are so, like, weird looking, uh, is because I just didn't want to draw, like, a lot of, basically, I just used frames that are used elsewhere in the game, uh, yeah. or, okay, actually, here's the thing, now that I, I remember, it's, you'll see, like, the characters, they just kind of, like, bend their knees, right, they kind of, yeah. like, dip down a little bit. It's because it's super easy to draw that, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. you know, when you're making a game as big as Stardew Valley, like you have to kind of cut some corners, I guess. And, you know, otherwise the game would have, I could have spent like uh, 10 years before I released the uh, sure. 1.0. So yeah, th there's a lot of little things like that where it's like, well, I just didn't feel like, you know, taking the time to draw some like complex dance moves. Um, the th also the thing is like, if I had known the game was going to become so popular, maybe I would have spent the time to do those complex dance moves, but I just, I had no idea, you know? I guess I'm more just wondering why I'm so out of sync with everyone just bending the knees, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's all right, I understand. Well, that's kind of one of those things that just happened randomly, and I think it's kind of funny, and it, it allows people <laughs> it to is. kind of come up with their own reason why. You know, yeah, like maybe I think you're just so yeah. new to the valley. It's like you just don't know any better. They've all got their dance, and it's <laughs> right. Like they just threw you in there. Oh, nice. These are the worst floors for this run. It's so hard to see. I happened to just glance at the chat for a second, and I'm sorry, I don't know who asked, but someone had asked, Have you ever completed Fector's Challenge yourself? Ladder in the middle, by the way. Uh, Fector's Challenge? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you beaten yeah, Journey of the Prairie I, King? I, I have, yeah. Okay, definitely. there you go. That's more than I can say, shamefully. I just gotta practice. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, what was my follow-up? Oh yeah, so my follow-up to that then, do you prefer Journey of the Prairie King or Junimo Kart more? Hmm, um... Uh, that's tough. I mean, I... The old Junimo Kart was really bad. The new Junimo Kart, I kind of... I do like it a lot, but I still probably like, I think Prairie King is probably my favorite. All right. But I like them both quite a bit. And I know a lot of people hate them and think they're way too hard, <laughs> but it's no, the it's, challenge is yeah. what's fun, you know? Yeah, exactly. If they're too easy, it's no fun. Well, this fog actually made it. I, I will easy. say I do regret Fector's challenge. <laughs> because I just feel it's another one of those things where it's like if I had realized like how big the game was going to be and how many millions of people I would like disappoint that they wouldn't <laughs> be able to get the full achievements to the game because of Fector's Challenge, I probably would have done it differently, but I don't know. No, I, th I think it's still okay. I think uh, Penguin Panda went, went a little mad trying to stream it himself, but you know. Well, <laughs> I, I think, think it's, it, it's fun. It, Maybe it kind of, it's like a valuable lesson, you know, like not, you can't always attain everything that you want in life, you know, you can't always get 100%, like. 
you I, have I, to I, just make <laughs> make peace with the fact that you know you can only do 95 percent or whatever i did not think that was going like, to be the moral i thought you were going to say sometimes you know it's it's okay to like put in the work and you know it's it's all worth it in the end that's the lesson but you're like well oh, you that i think that is a good lesson for the people who actually uh <laughs> You know, actually practice and get good enough and get that achievement. Yeah. That's very noble and honorable. Yeah. But I think there's lessons either way. Absolutely. It's like, you know, not not everyone has to be a Fector's challenge person, and that's totally fine. Absolutely. Okay, we're nearing the end now. Floor 42. If you happen to get any uh, cherry bombs, you can use them. Oh, that would be great. I didn't really use mine too effectively. Yeah, and these levels right here, since the rocks take so many swings, killing things is definitely uh, helpful. And then I know I, I meant to ask this right after I asked about the name. This may be cryptic as well, but the uh, the picture, your profile picture for Concerned Ape. Yeah. How'd you get that? <laughs> um. The so, I don't know. That's just kind of, you know, before I got into pixel art, I did a lot of doodling, just on like pen, like pencil and paper and colored pencils and stuff. Um, and there was a certain kind of like. I won't say what kind of animal it is because then everyone will say, oh, that's the animal. But like a certain type of animal that I would draw and he kind of looked like that, yeah. like the Concerned Ape uh, profile. And so, I don't know, then I just kind of was like, well, you know, I need a, I need a profile picture for my Twitter or whatever, my blog. <laughs> and I just kind of drew this thing and it was similar to these things, like the little doodles that I used to make. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't really think about it too much. You know, that, that's the thing that's kind of funny about Concerned Ape and about the profile and all these things. It's like, I didn't really think about them too much. It's just kind of like a random thing I chose. And then now suddenly everyone like is, knows about Concerned Ape. Yeah. And it's like, well, that was just kind of some <laughs> random thing I chose, you know? Like, it could have been anything. Yeah, but it's still uh, you now, you know? That's uh, True. Yeah, true. Even, even if it is just some random thing you didn't think about much, like that's part of who you are. Absolutely. Super cool. All right, well, the same me. even with the yeah. with the name Stardew, uh, like Stardew, the name, like there was a bunch of names I was thinking of, and it, it could have easily gone a different way. Like imagine that if it, and for a while the game was called Sprout Valley, yeah. which I think would that would have been awful. <laughs> but it doesn't have the same uh, the same ring. No, it's like it's it, it does not roll off the tongue. Like Sprout Valley. Sprout Valley. <laughs> no, it sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, from a video making perspective, I really appreciate how you can type Stardew all with one hand. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's true. very convenient it's, for me when I search the wiki 50 times a day. It's like one of yeah, it's actually it's one of my favorite words to type like possible like it's perfect. And that was not intentional, but I don't know. Yeah. All right, this may be our last question I ask you depending on how long your answer is, but uh, you know, out of all the different skills that you needed to make Stardew, you know, between, you know, art and music and coding and everything, um, you can either answer which one was the hardest to learn or which one was your favorite, whatever you're feeling. Okay, um, I think the hardest was pixel art, like by far, um. And I'm like really, in many ways, not happy with the pixel art in Stardew Valley. Like, I don't think it's, I mean, I think it, it achieves like what it's supposed to achieve. And it, it has a, like a consistent style, which, I mean, I don't know. It's, it, some people love the art. Some people don't think it looks that great, but like, I mean, I, I'm happy with it, but I know that I can make way better pixel art. And it's just like the beginning of like my entire journey of pixel art, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, it's just, I don't know, it's just very, it's a very, you can go very deep into getting good at pixel art, and it's basically like a lifelong pursuit. Oh, no. Are you I'm, almost at energy? I, I am. Oh, God, like, so am I. Do we just, do we just end it right now and come back for the last five? And maybe we, might, we might have right, to. just do yeah. it, just do it. Um, 
but yeah, pixel art was very, very difficult to even get competent at. And like Stardew Valley's art, I would just say is competent. And I'm still getting better at pixel art even now. But mm -hmm. the the other stuff like music, I always like. I, I made music like for many years before I even started making Stardew Valley. So it was kind of something I had like a head start in. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Are we just going to bed or uh, should we? Yeah, for full energy, I think. I have full Spacey. energy, do you? Oh, all right, nope, but we're good. Well, let me look. At the, uh, oh, let me look forget the it, let's go to bed. Oh, it, to it's bed. good humor. Let's just do that in case we get a string of bad luck. We'll be fine. Oh, we'll be fine. Okay. It's all right. All my speed runs are kind of scuffed. Get the, uh, just make sure to get some berries. Yeah, hopefully I didn't take them all. Um, so yeah, with the pixel art then, I guess I remember your new game is going to be 32 by 32 instead of 16 by 16. Is that right? I, I'm uh, have those numbers slightly wrong, okay. I think. No, you're, so you're right. You're, you're right, but you're also wrong because, <laughs> so there was a new project that I started working on that I actually kind of shelved for yet another different project. Uh, <laughs> the, the first new project was 32. Now the two projects I'm working on, one is 16 again, and the other is 24. Oh, so okay. there it's, yeah, it's like. Part of the reason why I shelved the 32 is because 32 takes, it, it just took way too long to make art for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I believe no, and that. it's like, yeah, and it's like I'm making all the art myself, so it takes a long time. So you answered, uh, you answered hardest skill then. What's your favorite one that you picked up or got better with? Well, I think my favorite thing to do in general is is probably music. Um, but that's always been like kind of a passion of mine. Like before I ma I uh, started making Stardew Valley, I wanted to be like a musician or like play in bands or something like that. And like I, I would make like little albums, uh, even though no, no one really listened to them, but <laughs> I just kind of made it as a hobby, you know? Yeah. Well, so, and I think through making all the music, the soundtrack for Stardew Valley, I do think I like improved a lot as a musician as well. So I really valued being able to do that. And I'm like, I'm really looking forward to making new soundtracks for my next games too. You should, uh, I, I tried not to, I've been trying not to like start the sentences with you should, but if it's not an inconvenient thing, I think a lot of people would really like your cover of Moonlight Jellies that you did on your grandpa's guitar, just as yeah. an option in a jukebox. I don't know if that's, I have no idea if that's easy or hard, but I think a lot uh, of people would love that. <laughs> well, okay, I think people would like it, but my problem with that is that it would kind of break the fourth wall, you know? Uh, that's true, like, very true. It's like, all the music in Stardew Valley is uh, kind of, elect is, ele is electronic, you know, at its core. Mm -hmm. So this would be like a real life recording. I don't know. It might be kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah. But I, I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad people uh, liked that. And and on the topic of YouTube, then, do you want to talk to me about your video, Duck? Uh, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so uh, Duck was actually uh, in college. I took this class that was. I don't remember what the class was, but um. It was like a programming related class. And one of the things we had to do was program these little uh, like image filters. So I programmed this. Oh, I got a ladder down here. Um, nice. Like in the in the video duck, you see the picture of the duck, like it's all morphing in weird ways. Yeah. Well, it was basically like me, like applying these filters and then like taking a video of it for the class. And then I <laughs> uploaded it and then I made the music for it because like I said, I like to make music as like a hobby. So like I made the music for it to make it a little bit fun, and there you go. There, that's what Duck is all about. Yeah. Oh wait, we did it. We did it. Oh wait, yeah. Twenty four twenty was our time. <laughs> oh, was that good or well, <laughs> what's I'm, the world record? I'm gonna go look right now. So we did the two player okay. category, and so that's a separate leaderboard than like people that do it by themselves. So let me look. We could we could vastly improve our time. I made a lot of mistakes. Oh, it's okay. Okay, so I got I got good news and bad news. Okay. Um, the good news is that we're in the top 10. Nice. The bad news is that there's currently nine runs on the leaderboard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So uh, what are we, the 10th? Yeah, we're number 10. <laughs> <laughs> but well, hey, I mean, we're on there, you know? We, so wait, what's the, wor- what's the world record time? Uh, the record for two-player is 1330. <laughs> and so we're oh almost, almost double that, but... That's hey, insane. I can guarantee that, that we're... Yeah, I can guarantee we're the most interesting time on the leaderboard. And when you watch that thing back, like, I, I can guarantee <laughs> this is the most interesting run. <laughs> I want to know how someone did that in 13 minutes after yeah, just it's, doing it. It's I mean, crazy. It's like, we made some mistakes, especially me, but like, it felt like maybe that amounted to about one minute's worth, right? Yeah. Not like 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I think animation canceling helps a ton. Oh, you're but... right. Wait, you're no, right. I mean, no, number, unless it's wrong, it says first place didn't animation cancel. I don't know. I think they did it all in one day and they got super lucky with like the ladders. I don't know. It's a really short run, so you can do them pretty quick there is a video of it if you want to see it it's on uh speedrun.com all the okay. leaderboards for that that uh, might have to check it out i mean i wonder if maybe they did some kind of like like a uh, random number generation prediction and then put in like a seed value that you know they would encounter certain things in the mines that were advantageous i don't know i don't know uh yeah, are you familiar with, uh, well, Blade is in the Twitch chat right now. He has something called Blade's Predictor, which you put yeah, in the, Yeah, do I, you know about it? I, I do know about it, yeah. Yeah, that is, that is crazy. I think that's so, I mean, like, I've looked, I'm not a coder. I was, I graduated with a degree in engineering, so, like, I'm somewhat familiar with it, but it was, like, civil engineering, and bridges don't need code to run. So, like, I've looked in the code to make videos, but I don't think I could ever do what you do or what blade does or anyone else oh i think i think you could figure it out i mean i'm not like a very great coder to tell you the truth and anyone who's knows about coding who's looked at the code will attest to that like it's kind of a mess but it's like my approach is just well does it work does it achieve the end result for the player you know yeah whatever it's like obviously it worked so (laughs) yeah but I, I'm not like a great coder or anything. I just kind of get it done, make yeah. it work. Respect. I, th- I think you could absolutely figure out how to do all that. Uh, thank you. Well, um, that is uh, that's the end for the mines. We got one more thing. It's the uh, it's the maze. I don't think this will take more than fifteen or twenty minutes. Uh, okay. I am going to go to the bathroom real quick, and I'm going to leave you alone with my chat to entertain them for some so why don't sure. you uh why don't you do I'll whatever you want with that uh, yeah, yeah i'll, I'll uh, go bring up the twitch channel and yeah. see what people are saying yeah sure all right i will be right back and i will not run an ad so that everyone can watch all right i'll be back okay Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear my voice? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, how are you guys doing? asking do i still live in auburn washington no i don't i don't still live there uh what is jazz's relationship to marnie um well jazz calls marnie her aunt so whether she's her biological aunt or if she just calls her aunt you know that's not necessarily spelled out in the game and I'm not going to reveal anything more about it. Someone's asking, have I gone JoJo route? Um, I don't think I've actually played through a whole game with JoJo route. No. Hello again. You can keep, uh, hey. you can keep talking to him if you want while I set up. Maze. Okay. Uh, someone was asking, do we have more board games on the way? Yes, there will be another, there's going to be another print run.
Oh. Yeah, Habu's talking about the uh, Twitch rivals. Right, like they haven't, they haven't, uh, yeah, I mean, if they want to do it, it's like, oh, that's, that's fine too, but I just want to see it happen, you know, because I, I love the speedrunning community and I just want it to stay thriving, you know? And also just an opportunity for all, everyone who's put in all these hours practicing and getting good at Stardew Valley speedrunning. I want those people to, you know, have an event, win some money. Okay, uh, did you send me the code? Uh, I did, but I actually have to turn on a, my mods so I can watch you properly. So let me do that one more time. So what you're going to do tonight, I already explained it to them in the beginning of the stream, but in case anyone wasn't here in the beginning, uh, I made a maze with my dad a little bit ago. He spent like three or four hours on it. And it's an entire farm dedicated to just this maze. And it's got a combination of challenges and also just like regular maze section and like some puzzle sort of like think stuff through. Um, I had to go into the game code to remove all the NPCs from the save because they were walking through things and destroying everything. Um, so it, it took a, a pretty decent chunk of time, but I'm really proud with how it turned out. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. And I actually hit load instead of co-op. I'm hosting a multiplayer game. Oh man, hold on. I don't know if I... I'm hosting it, but it's not giving me an invite code. There's enough cabins for you. Turn it off and back on. Sorry, let me. I'm gonna restart Stardew. I don't know why it's being weird. I tested it just before this. Uh, let me look through my questions and see if there's anything I didn't ask you, because I think I'm done with questions now at this point. Oh, I did. I did have one final question. And like you, you can respectfully say no to answering this if you want to, but okay. I gotta ask: Is there any sort of like sneak preview or updates for the future of Stardew Valley or anything else that you want to slide our way? <laughs> um, I would. I mean, I guess I'll just say that you can expect more from Stardew Valley as. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't say too much, but just Stardew Valley as a, you know, as a thing, you can expect more. Is We're not done with Stardew Valley. Well, that is fantastic to hear. Thank you for uh, for letting me ask that. Um, yeah, no, no worries. I think that's all I got. Um, I don't know if you want to answer what your favorite song is out of all of the different soundtracks, or if you want that to just be open to people's interpretation as well. Uh, my favorite song from the soundtrack? Yeah. Um, I mean, when I asked that before, I've said Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. And part of that is because I just think the moment in the game when that happens is really special. And like, it's just one of the moments that I'm like most proud of in the game. Um, and I think the music really complements everything nicely. It's very, it's like an important piece of that. Yeah, very cool. Okay, I did get that invite code over to you now. It's the bottom one here. Okay. So you should be able to join. I don't know which cabin you're going to start in, but either way, I'm going to have you make your way to the farmhouse to start. Like the main one. Make sure they can actually see it. Yeah, I think uh, 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 the, the sun can bend the sky, bend an orange sky. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name of it right now. What is that song yes, called? Yes, the sun can bend an orange sky. Yeah, okay, that's my favorite one, even though I just forgot what it was called oh, for a second. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. I like that one too. 
yeah, I really like that. I, I put that out on a poll a while ago. I, there's like a community tab on YouTube. I don't know if you know, but it's like, you know, you can just ask your community different questions, put polls out. And I had asked them what their favorite songs were. And I was surprised there was a really wide variety. There's not like one song that everyone really likes the most. So what, what uh, was there? There wasn't one that won? Not one in particular, but I think uh, a, a lot of people said Moonlight Jellies as well. They really liked that song. Um, I, I think the classic ones that play just like normally during all the seasons were pretty common. But some people yeah. liked, uh, I think one of the ones that plays during Sam's cutscenes, which I had not even heard that song when I put that poll out. Um, yeah, I think that one kind of stuck out. Interesting. Yeah, if you ever want to, I, I think that would be kind of cool if you, or that, that would be cool for you. I put a lot of those types of polls out on YouTube um, and just just ask people fun questions. If there's anything you ever want to ask people, you can let me know and I'll, I'll send a poll up for you. Yeah, I'm interested in all that stuff. Um, I remember someone did a poll of like, what's the favorite marriage candidate? Like, this was a while ago. I think it was on Reddit. And uh, what do you what do you think the answer was? So I did this myself. I, I ended up doing like a bracket style poll almost. Um, yeah. I'm going to guess Abigail. It was Leah. Leah. Ah, see, she's so yeah. up there, too. Yeah. I was kind of surprised because I feel like I would have guessed Abigail, too. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Anyway, uh, should I? Yeah, uh, so we'll okay, we'll come on. on out here. You'll get a little sneak peek of what's to come. Um, oh wow! We'll we'll come on over this way. I'll I'll clear a little path for you just to go on in the main so farmhouse. Where we start? Okay. Yeah. And oh wow! Yeah, sorry. This is all. This is behind the scenes. This is just for oh, see, making this. Um, okay, I thought that was so the first yeah. puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you come on in here, and I will start your time will start as soon as you leave the front door so let me pull the timer up for everyone and, again and uh i i'm just trying to make my way through this maze is that yeah, the only so, rule or? so here i have me right i wrote these down all right so the idea is there's this whole maze and the time starts when you walk out the door and the time finishes when you get to the feast of the winter star and pick it up okay so you can pick it up from far away but you have to be like one tile away from it um, and pick it up. That's when your time will end. And so it goes all over the map. It's not just on the farm here. Um, and when you pass a statue of endless perfection or endless fortune, rather the gold one, that's kind of like your checkpoint. Like, okay, you don't have to go back from here. I don't have any sneaky, like once you go forward, you have to go back again thing. So if you're making progress, you can uh, just keep going from there. Okay. Um, and that's it. You're going to compete. This is, this is timed. So I'm gonna keep track of your time and then your time is gonna be directly compared up against Brandigan, by the way, who also does YouTube and he's going right after you. And then Habu is gonna go after him and then my girlfriend M also. <laughs> okay, oh, wait, so they're going after me, but they're gonna see all the spoilers. They're gonna, uh, are they, they are not. They are not watching. I asked them all ahead all of time right. not to watch. Um, okay. So yeah. No peeking guys. All yeah. right, <laughs> should I go? Uh, whenever you're ready, I'll start the timer. I'm not going to say much this okay. whole time, so I think if you want to just, like, talk through your thought process, that'd be great. Sure, sure. Um, so, wait, the end goal is to pick up what? The, the Feast, Feast of, of the, the Winter Star Tree. Tree, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going. All right. And I'm kind of just going to follow you. Oh, you shouldn't have any tools. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Don't, don't use your starting tools. I won't. There is one tool that you get later, but. Oh man, <laughs> dead already. I wonder if it's important to go in here. Probably not. <laughs> Just trying to see if there's tricks. Uh huh. Oh, that's a dead end. All right. <laughs> Wait, now I'm like worried. Are there tricks? <laughs> There's a couple tricks, uh, but not in the beginning here. It's like, I'll, I'll okay. tell you that. <laughs> oh man, that's valuable time I just wasted. 
Sorry, this is kind of the uh, the luck based part of it. Okay, I have a feeling I might have to go this way, so let's try this. I'll uh, give a shout out to Simply Ed 88, my dad at this point. Who, uh, this is all him, this entire section. Oh yeah? Yeah. I bought this game for my parents for Christmas. <laughs> and they like it? Oh yeah. They Great. played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 together years ago. And uh, yeah. and they were like, we should play Stardew together. I bet we would like that. My dad goes out on adventures and my mom keeps up the farm. Okay. okay. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. My my mom actually uh, likes Stardew Valley too, and she's never played games in her life. So, <laughs> oh, there we go. We got one of the statues. All right, your first checkpoint. Awesome. If you ever want a uh, an update on your time, you can just ask, and I'll tell you. Okay. Oh. Fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a you fooled me again, huh? <laughs> yeah, I kind of I told my dad in the beginning here. I was like, we just need a little section in the beginning to you know, just just give him a little taste of maze, and then he just put the entire farm together. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, what's that old saying from Texas? Uh, fool me once, shame <laughs> on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> Sneaky path down the left side. Alright. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm try, I have a. I have a tendency to give stuff away when I open my mouth and I know the secret. So I'm trying uh, really hard. Oh right, my! Made it okay. through the first section. Good yeah, job. yeah. These uh, frozen barrels are kind of interesting. It's like. Kind of reminds me of. Uh, oh. Um, I don't know. Like a haunted house in Super Mario World. Uh, oh, let's see. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh, do I have to use this? No. Good idea. You're thinking now. Do I have money? Yes. <laughs> The bus is out of service. Can I go? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> the oldest trick in the book. The hole in the fence behind the flower tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is cool. It's All like right, a journey good. throughout the entire world. I like it. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. That's the first of the puzzles, I would say. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Wait. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you did. Yeah. Uh, in the bush. <laughs> This part was my idea. Yeah, the switchbacks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shave was... off a few seconds if you're good at that. <laughs> I was going for a good combination oh, wow. of like, you know, rage, but also having a good time. Falling behind. Oh man, this maze puts uh, Jared's green bean maze to shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, was that a total dead end? <laughs> oh no. 
I was thinking he yeah. wouldn't have made me run, run all the <laughs> yeah. way down here just for a dead end, would he? I should let you lead. There you go. Sorry, if it makes you feel better, I was trying to trick everyone. <laughs> this was partially inspired. I played a lot of Halo when I was younger, and there was a custom map on Halo Reach that was like this. Halo is not a game that's like a maze game at all, but it had a lot of uh, unique sort of solutions to puzzles. Wait, I'm totally like confused. Like what? <laughs> that doesn't work. You do uh... have to get past this wall next. And I'll tell you, this is a dead okay. end. No, I mean, let, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll yeah, figure yeah. it out. <laughs> See, there I go. I'm so bad when I know the secret. I can't, I can't not. Oh, there you there. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> As you can tell, I am not much of a musician. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. yeah, sounds good. Um, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, I gotta focus. Can't let Habu beat my time. Um, uh, let me guess. Okay, you got it. you're probably doing this, huh? Uh huh. -huh. Also, no. What? <laughs> I put the fence really far to the right so you could think that was the solution. Clever. <laughs> He's looking for those gaps now. He's learning. Oh, you know what? <laughs> hey, very uh. <laughs> nice, very nice. Oh, nice trash can. Okay, now what What do we got going here? Oh, mm. That iridium bar is not part of it? <laughs> I'll take it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. But now what? Oh, I guess I have to keep going. In. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's a statue in here. But wait. Okay. Oh, there. that's blocked off. Oh, you're not supposed to be able to buy from that? Uh, you're gonna okay. Go that. Um... <laughs> Oh, I see something here. What is this? Uh, man, this is so involved. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. Blind. Okay. I'll catch up. Yeah. Welcome to my island. <laughs> Yeah, that felt too boring to just have, you know, without no, anything I was, there. That was cool. Uh, you had, um, you used mods to do all this? I did, yeah. Like, the, yeah. Yeah, I have a CBJ cheats mod and, like, CBJ item spawner, which I use for video making. I don't even know what this <laughs> what this is. I, I don't either. I think this is uh, what are these things called? I'm gonna hit one to see. They are slime crates. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, um, slime crate. Uh yes. It was like a so for one. Oh no, a dead end. Oh, <laughs> how could you? <laughs> um. Uh, for 1.5, I had I had this idea of like, well, 
just to make slime farming a little bit more convenient of having a way where you could move uh, move, uh, move the slimes around like outside your mm. farm or even inside from slime hutch to slime hutch by like putting them into the crate and then moving them to like an, another area and then releasing them but I just never got around to putting it in mm. and I don't, I don't even know if people would use it so well I'm uh, using it right now <laughs> yeah there you go I figured this was like the perfect infuriating thing to use What nice time am I at? Bridge. You're at 11.45. Okay. Uh. Oh man, the, all the Georgia Cole oh. is ready. It says <laughs> join us. I don't know if you could read it. Yeah, no, this is a dead end. <laughs> oh, what? This whole thing? Uh, all over here on the right, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you totally... I just wanted to spread the good news of Georgia Mart. Wow. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if the other guys fall for this. <laughs> they better not be peeking. We'll be able to tell um, if they do. They'll be disqualified. Okay. Oh geez, like which way do I go? There's so many choices. You probably try you're trying to fool me down now. Um. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what this. Oh wait, I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> I guess that's a. Oh, that's like a bonus, huh? Yeah, you found my secret chest. Awesome. <laughs> It won't help you go to the next area, but it'll help, now. help me run around faster. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, it was a, okay. The gates. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's over here? Um. Man, you've collected so many things. You can see the gears turning in his head. You can see him thinking it through. Oh, an Omni Geode for the road? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm stumped. I wonder if this is a dead end or. Don't tell me. Alright, but... alright. I'm gonna click around like. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was a viable spot for a chest. <laughs> I didn't either until someone from that community farm that had a bunch of people on it, uh, someone hid their chest there because it was like an anarchy farm, so you needed to protect your things. I see, okay. Are right, you getting close to the end now. Oh man, I got an ax, okay. The oh wow. home stretch, the home stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's all worth something, man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Ta-da! Pick it up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I Very to... nice. All... I know, you had a that full inventory. You had a full inventory uh, of all yeah, the bars and... <laughs> uh, that was, I was too greedy, and it uh, came, came to bite me. But, um... <laughs> Man, that was that was fun. Then I liked the, how you had the uh, fake tree in the beginning. Yeah, throw me <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, I hope that was fun for you, man. No, that was that was yeah. a lot of fun.
Uh, Thanks I'll, for setting uh, that up. Yeah, thank you for playing it, man. Seriously. Um, that, that's all I got for you. I mean, thank you so much. I, I kept you half an hour longer than I said I would, but thank you for uh, for being so patient with me. Oh, there it is, baby. <laughs> Wow. Hey, that's uh, that's all I got for you right now. Um, okay. Well, yeah. that was that was fun. Um, I hope the people watching enjoyed it. Oh, I know they did, man. Uh, they absolutely did. Uh, yeah, Eric. I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you for uh, for joining me tonight. But seriously, I mean, in a lot of ways, you know, I'm I want to do this full time, and I think you've seriously given me a really cool opportunity tonight. And you know, it's. I, I'm sure I speak for the community when I say Stardew Valley is just such a, an amazing part of a lot of people's lives. I know you know it, I know you've met people, but I mean, there were so many times where I, in, in community polls, if I ever mentioned you or anything, or even if I didn't mention you, people just said how great you know you are and how much they appreciate how dedicated you are to Stardew. So I, I really do appreciate that. Um, I have a, a very, very small gift for you that I, I handmade, but I posted a poll or a community post on YouTube uh, and it just said, why do you play Stardew Valley? And I'll show it to the stream in a second, but I'm going to send it to Eric first. Um, and it was it just people answered with whatever they wanted. And I made a little word map out of that. And so I have Stardew word map.png. I'll DM it to you on Discord right here. And I'll show it to my stream right here. Oh, I just wow. made a little map of, uh, <laughs> of what your people think about Stardew. So I want you to... <laughs> You know, look that's at that fun. And, uh, that's fun. Thank you. That, man. I, well, I appreciate I appreciate all the kind words, uh, not only in the word map, but just uh, what <laughs> you just said. Um, and yeah, thank you for making cool and unique Stardew Valley videos, and for yeah. streaming Stardew Valley. Thank you, man. Seriously, this was a uh, this is a once in a lifetime experience for me, man. So I, I really do appreciate you uh, you hanging out with me. Well, it's my pleasure. Cool. All right. Well, well that's all I I'm got. Gonna, yeah. Twitch chat. Out, say yeah. goodbye to uh, to Mr. Ape. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Thanks for playing Stardew Valley. Yeah. All right. Thank you, man. All Hope, right. Uh, I'll, I'll message you about like the idea I have for that yeah. sort of thing. Okay. And, uh, Sounds good. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Talk to you See soon. Ya. Have a have a good night yeah, and good bye. luck to the uh, other challengers. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Right, see ya. Wow, that was uh, that was the guy who made Stardew Valley. Uh, I'm ten minutes late with Brandigan. I'm sure he understands. I'm calling him right now. I think he should be good to go right away. I gotta set that farm back up for him. Guys, thank you for joining me. Stick around for the rest of the time. If you are heading out though, if you were just here for Concerned Ape, I understand. We stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 7:30 p.m. Eastern, just like we did tonight. And so if you want to join us again, we do all of our recording for our YouTube channel live on Twitch. And it's more fun when you watch it live. And so, yeah, I appreciate uh, I appreciate all you guys joining me. I hope to see you back here again if you are heading out. But we still got Brandigan and Habu and M to get through in this maze. And uh, here's the man himself, Brandigan. What's up, man? What's up, Z? How's it going? Brandon, it's fantastic. <laughs> I, I imagine it is. I, you know, I was tuning in. I was uh, stealing some of your content and watching you guys tour the farm for a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So uh, anyway, I got this maze for you. I'm going to send you an invite code. Uh, we'll get right into it then. It's you versus Concerned Date versus Habu versus my girlfriend. Um, Perfect. And so it's lowest time wins. Whoever gets the lowest time will have... Oh, I didn't tell Eric that. Whoever gets the lowest time will have a custom made or a custom drawn... Uh, Stardew Valley character for you. So I had uh, one of my t-shirts has like myself on it um, that my one mod Riv drew. And so I figured whoever gets the lowest time, she offered to uh, to draw one for the winner. Man, that that is... You're always surprising me with like, you know, <laughs> gifts or challenges. That's dope. <laughs> oh man, I know. Well, last time we, we talked, you got a golden chicken statue out of it. Do you have it? Yes, I um, I, I showed I showed the stream earlier. <laughs> Yours has a better inscription on it than mine does. Yes, yours says what? Stardew Noob? Stardew Noob, yeah. It's a deserved yeah. title, but... <laughs> <laughs> mine says Junimo Kart King. <laughs> yeah, yours is a little bit more endearing. All right, did you get on the farm yet? Uh, I sent you an invite code. I DM'd it to you. Okay, uh, yep, I see it now, and I just do co-op ad code, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. 
so you can come on through. Um, we're gonna start in the main farmhouse, but you won't spawn there, so we're just gonna walk over there to start. Okay, uh, do I need to, like, prepare myself? What can I expect here? What's going on? Uh, I'll tell you what I told Eric then. So it's amazing. Your time will start when you leave the farmhouse, and your time will end when you pick up the Feast of the Winter Star Tree. All right? Um, you can pick up the Feast of the Winter Star Tree from far away, but you have to be, like, for the purposes of the challenge, you have to be, like, be next to it and then pick it up, if that makes sense, right? Like, you can pick it up through walls and stuff, so don't do that. Um... When you reach a statue of endless fortune, like the golden statue, that's a checkpoint. Uh, I realized some of the statues of endless fortune have the, uh, they have like they're ready to be harvested. That's not part of the maze. Um, and same with like buying stuff from stores. If you have that option, that's not part of it either. So uh, I think, I think that's it though. So I think, okay, uh, sorry, I think I it should be good. My, yeah. uh, my my character look cute. Okay, so I can <laughs> press okay when I'm done with uh, character yep. creation. Yep, go ahead. I'll get you back to the main farmhouse. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to mostly just let you talk. I, I don't think uh, I'm just going to let you like go through your thought process. So uh, I'll, I'll ask just for like 15 minutes just to like, I don't know, anything you're going to say, just say to everyone. I think someone said I have 500 viewers right now, which is absurd. I love you guys. So uh, make sure that they know what's going on too. Come on over to the main farm. I'm gonna replace these walls. Oh, this already looks intimidating. Okay, <laughs> so I need to get the, the Feast of the Winter Star Tree. Yes. And I have to like complete the maze if if I could, if I can catch it or get it beforehand, that doesn't count. Yeah, Did it's I miss just, anything? well, it's pretty much just like, I realized you can pick up the Feast of the Winter Star Tree when you're not directly next to it. Um, so don't do that. This okay. room was just for us to build it. Uh, and you can't use any of your starting tools. Okay, so you get a tool later on, but none of the starting ones. So you can you can stash them or you can just not use them. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Your time will start when you walk out the door and I will, uh, I'll keep track of that. You can ask at any point if you have a, if you want an update. Okay. Cool, whenever you're ready, go ahead. I'm go out and uh, yeah, I'm just mentally preparing myself. I need to do a couple laps around the, the room. Of One course, second. of course. A little warm up. Yeah, you know, get the blood flowing. It's very important. Uh, you should also stretch. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Arm arm circles, right? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandigan, by the way, is off. Um, this looks prom. No, that and that's too easy. I see, that's that's the tree, right? Yeah, let's not trust that. Um, even this may be too... Oh, that's a dead end, isn't it? Oh, wait, is it a dead end? I can't tell. Is this down here? It is a dead end. Okay, not off to a good start. I can't just destroy all of this stuff? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> My dad I mean, spent I a very long time it. building this section. <laughs> oh, okay, well, what is... Um, okay, where is the initial... Let's Let's go... To go forward, you must go back. Wow, so who what said I think, that? Oh, wait. I, I don't know. It sounded sounded nice. <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking is you would try and put us as far away from the tree as possible. So that's why I'm going up here. Alternatively, I'm going to look at the beginning and the top left for something. I'm a little worried about this right now. I don't think... This is the first path you've committed to. Yeah. I Okay, so I know that I can split back and go up there if needed. Um, but no, that I don't think that'll be a win. Let's go back. Let's go down here. All right. To go forward, you must go back. That's what I'm committing to. So basically, whatever I think is the most complicated is what <laughs> I want to do. So like I see all that stuff over to the left. I'm trying to get over there because I think you're you're twisted in a way <laughs> and, and <laughs> you would do this to us can i ask how like, i don't want i would i don't want to know times but how did ca do i think he did pretty good i had one person i had m's brother test run it and he beat uh, m's brother by two minutes oh no okay well i chose wrong <laughs> honestly so my dad built this section so. also, yeah wait, when you say m is it em or just yeah. m just EM, okay. short for Emily. Okay, I figured. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know whether it was like 
because I call you Z all the time, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> M and Z. That is kind of funny how that works, though. You know, I. It is kind of intimidating to go up against the guy who you know made the entire game. Oh, absolutely. He tends to know how this stuff works pretty well. Okay, I feel better about this. I don't feel better about this. <laughs> I think this is going to be really fun. I'm going to splice this all together for YouTube later. Like, I'm going to put the different POVs to, like, get to experience everyone's attempt in the beginning first, and then everyone's attempt in, like, the next section. Okay. That'll be okay. fun. It'll be fun to see, like, who solves these areas the fastest. Checkpoint! Ooh. Yeah, so like I said, that golden bar is not required for it. I forgot those statues, like, spit stuff out when I made them the checkpoints. <laughs> uh, uh, let's try here. I should have been looking at the screen and I didn't... Okay, this was... That was not a bad idea, I think. Okay, okay, let's see. I should have been looking at this area when I was doing the other part. Oh, <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, no, no. Oh, do I, I, I knew this. <laughs> I knew this. It's, it's the pressure of you having a million people watching you right now. What are you at? Uh, yeah, 25,000? Uh, some, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, for live? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's 30,000. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This has to be, right? Or are you just... It was a checkpoint, so... What? <laughs> what? What am I missing? Z. Oh. Oh. There is one path not yet taken. Wait, it's not didn't this I come one. from here? You came from here. <sighs> Why? Yes. yes. This no. is the reaction I was going for. <laughs> All right, well played, sir. That was that I got debated on every single one of those. <laughs> this farm is meant for the viewers to enjoy, wrong, not you. It is backtrack, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, this farm is meant for the viewers to enjoy, not you. <laughs> Okay. Can't go out there. I'm just going to keep following this. Um, I'm going to regret this, I think. Um, Sneaking up the side? No. Hey. Can I go out this way? <laughs> Welcome to part two. Oh, smart. <laughs> okay. Just seeing if there's like any secret path behind that tree. Mm -hmm. Oof, I am struggling. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Out of order. Is this another debate? What is going on here? <laughs> okay. Very nice. Very nice. That was well played. I really like that. I would consider that the first puzzle that you've solved. <laughs> Oh boy. How long is this supposed to take? I think I'm going to be here all night. <laughs> uh, I, It'll take between 15 and 20 minutes, probably. You're currently oh at seven. Although oh, you did that pretty fast, I think. I, I don't want to give you too much, too much notice. Okay. Yep, I knew one of those trees <laughs> would hide something. He's learning. Okay, that's good. Um, but then where do I go? Yep, okay. Nice, nice, nice. You used the bush to hide that. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Oop, okay. Don't bump <laughs> into anything. Speed run it. Speed run it. Speed. Wait. Speed run. Speed run. Speed run. Have blue speed. Have blue speed. That is what a uh, concerned Abe said. He said you could probably save some time there if you're good at walking. <laughs> nice diamond. Okay. 
Okay. You are a fan. Oh, here, let me put my um, diamond away. <laughs> I'll keep that for protect, later. I'm, I'm taking that with me. Oh no. Yeah, it's all a dead end. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Z, are, uh, are we friends? Got are him. We? Got him. Come on, you know every time we do something together, you always have to ask that question. <laughs> oh man. Hey, remember that time we played Junimo Kart? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Mm. Mm, what is going on here? Sir, what? What? <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Please tell me it's behind. It is. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you're a drummer too, huh? Yes, yeah, my little instrumental. Okay. Nice checkpoint. Okay. Um, what kind of options do I have? Nothing there. Could we get cheeky with it? Oh! <laughs> hey! Okay, okay. Tell me CA didn't find that out immediately. Oh, he knows this game well. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Okay. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> chair method. Do I have to chair out of here? Oh no, I was I'm sorry, I was talking to my chat, uh -oh. referencing a very old stream. You did the bench thing and they said chair method. Sir. You're at 920 right now, just saying. Oh that. no. What am I missing here? Am I stuck? No. Oh, that's a... Okay. <laughs> I agree with... My chat says this is so frustrating to watch now that they all know the answer. <laughs> uh. The last run. I believe it. Okay, um, think, think, think. Um, this bin, you can put stuff in, right? Oh. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> Wait, that, that does mean that it was a, a checkpoint, right? Oh, yeah, it's in here. Okay. Oh man, I love streaming. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna get you back for this. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're a jerk. All right, all right, all right. Well played, the next sir. One. Well played. <laughs> Let me grab my checkpoint. Oh, this looks nice. Thank you. I did this while I was waiting for my dad to finish that massive maze in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Min max, skip, skip, skip. Okay. What do you have going on here? Another checkpoint. I like it. Well played. Okay. Um, this is new. I've <laughs> never seen this before. I hadn't what? seen it either until what I started. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding one above my head, but I just look excited. <laughs> I'm doing this the rest of the time. I have a feeling you're baiting me with this one. Are you serious? If this is only Joja, 
Join us thrive, Brandigan. Thank you for helping me to spread the good news. I am going to quit <laughs> this challenge. <laughs> the bridge, oh. the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Okay. Thanks for uh, showing that to all of your people too. A little free Joja advertising. I I hope no. There's no more Joja advertisements. <laughs> there's one uh, more Joja has advertisement. Gone? <laughs> has Habu gone too? And he's after you. And then M. Yeah, and you can watch both of them since he'll be done. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I'm a little worried. Uh oh. Okay, what am I missing here? You can get into this area, but it's from that side. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Not like this. Just the oh no, oh no. It's on this side of the bridge, I'll tell you, also. The, the, uh, sorry, like, no, over here where you were. Oh. Just, I told CA that, too. Okay, it's good to know that he tried to go back, too. <laughs> um... I'm looking for a chest or something. Ah <laughs> It's a gate! The gate! Oh okay. my god. Um I can't get down here. Maybe there's a farm warp. No. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Z, take me back to the farm. I just wanna <laughs> You can get back to the farm on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this is the checkpoint. Uh, just on this side. I didn't want to put it like right by the gate because that would be like, then you know okay. how to get to this section. I, I guess um, I'm trying to figure out whether I need to backtrack or not. Okay, what about... Would you like a hint? Yes, please. You said something earlier that would be quite helpful. <sighs> I just say in, a lot of dumb just, stuff just that I don't remember. Just in the last remember. section, you said something that would be very helpful to remember right now. Oh, okay, yeah. I, <laughs> I now know what you're talking yeah. about. Um, where is that, though? Wait. It's been a while since I've actually... There it is. Yeah, that hit was very easy. <laughs> I made that too easy. It's all right. Because I, I knew it was there. I just I couldn't piece it together. Yeah. Also, another item that I just found. Bonfire. <laughs> Again. So you can use okay. that axe, yeah. Okay, cool. Wait. So I can use this and just mm -hmm. and destroy this stuff? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. This We're looks nice. We're in the nice. home stretch. The statues of endless fortune cheering you mm -hmm. on. <laughs> Come so on, close, baby. So let's close, get it. So close. The final checkpoint. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, against my better judgment, check this. Wait. <laughs> nice time. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! The other one was fake. Oh, uh, yup. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Okay. Now my pinky is killing me because I had pushed the talk <laughs> on. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, wow, dude. dude. All right. Yeah. 1633 was your final time. Okay. Okay. I, that sounds okay. That I think it was good. That was faster than M's brother who tested it. 
but it was slower than concerned no! eight. No. <laughs> His was like, was uh, like 15, 20 or 15, 30. I should have written it down. Does anyone wow. know exactly what it was? I'm going to write them. Uh, hey, you know, he created the game. It's, I mean, yeah, he got some of those some of those other ones like super quick, you know? It, it, low key, I was uh, worried that you were going to add in some like chopping or like mining paths where you have to like break through all of it very quickly, like more than just that axe. And I was like, oh, Habu is going to destroy us if, there, if there's any paths like that. <laughs> He's just going to animation cancel his way through everything. Exactly. <laughs> I tried to set it up in a way that animation canceling doesn't help too much. Uh, dude, 11 out of 10. You um, made me mauled a little bit. I <laughs> I felt good at the end. There were surprises. Man, that was great. I think the, the best part was the friends we made along the way. Although I guess in our case, the friendships we further damaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't uh, ever contact me again. <laughs> Perfect. That is going to be the last thing that you hear in the video. <laughs> when I put that in. Great. <laughs> All right, well, All right, man, uh, I know you got a lot of people yeah, to get thank through. Thank you, man. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for uh, joining me again. I will talk to you very soon. All right. Uh, are you streaming right now? Um, I am, and I'm going to hop off and host you. Oh, thank you, man. Well, uh, send me your POV if you don't mind then afterwards. If, yep, uh, will do. Haven't. Great, thanks. All right, talk to you soon, right. Brandon. Yep, Later. see ya. All right, one more. One more to get through. I'm calling them right away. The man, the myth. The animation canceling legend. One more guest, that is. M still is going, obviously. Hello. Hapu! Hello. Welcome. Dude, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm gonna scam this entire event. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I had to set it up in a way that animation canceling wouldn't provide you with a benefit. I will still find a way to get around it. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Um, let me host it real quick and I'll send you an invite code. I accidentally leaked the first one, so let me do it again. Uh, I didn't even see the first one because still paused. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Um, sure, invite code, copy, send to you. There you go. You can join and then uh, just come right to the main farmhouse right away. All right. Alrighty, nice, and I will go Stardew, just like that. There we go, and we're back. I'm gonna clear a little path for you because you'll spawn in one of the weird side cabins. But we'll go to the main farm house and then I'll tell you exactly what you have to do. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna thank some subs really quick because I've been super busy, but you can just go to the farm. Go right ahead. Thank you. It's been a poppin' stream. <laughs> it really has. All right, I'll be right back. Um, guys, I'm gonna try to make make my way through some streams that or some subs that I missed. Frozen Pizza subbing with Prime, dude, 11 months. Sam, thank you for almost a year, says Yeet. Guys, thank you for all the follows. Holy crap, so many of them. Uh, I'm trying to see. I know I got some other ones I missed, like right when CA hopped in. Ness, thank you for the sub 30 minutes ago, man. I appreciate it. Um, we got, oh, Kristen, thank you for the raid with 10 earlier. Deacon, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, this is like over an hour ago at this point, so I'm really sorry if you're gone now. B Spice, thank you for the sub with Prime, dude, 10 months. He just said, wow. Uh, Sleepy Stardew Farmer, thank you for the 500 bits. Crypto, thank you for the thousand. Oh my God, Crypto Green, thank you, thank you. Um, Crypto, thank you for an additional 100 bits earlier. Bubble, thank you. Bubbles, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Dova, Dova Lord, 100, thank you for the 100 bits. And I'm almost there now. Key Nicole, Key Nicole, thank you for subbing with Prime. I appreciate it. Guys, everyone who's here. So this is a, a, a surreal stream. Crypto, thank you for yet another 100. Unique, uh, thank you for the Prime. And guys, thank you for that hype train that ended up with 11 subs. Jeez, I think I missed some other ones. Brandon gifted a sub to Penguin Panda. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, Koji, thank you for the sub. And then I scrolled, I have scrolled back to the beginning of my feed and I think there were more subs. So I, I am really sorry if I missed them but they are literally now not on my screen anymore. Um, okay, I'm back, thank you. So this is gonna start pretty much when you when you leave the farm, uh, that's when your time starts. And when you pick up the Feast of the Winter Star tree, like the big Christmas tree, that's when your time ends. When I leave the farmhouse or when I leave the farm? Uh, the farmhouse, like as soon as you step out the door. 
And okay. so, um, are you streaming right now? No, I'm, I'm okay. are, recording. Are you, yeah, you're recording? Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So pretty much when you see uh, one of those golden statues, the Statue of Endless Fortune, um, uh -huh. that's just like a checkpoint. So you don't have to go backwards. I've set it up so once you like get to a new area, you don't have to ever backtrack. So don't think there's any sneaky stuff there. Um, okay. You can't use your starting tools. You can use, there's a tool that you get partway through. So you can either put them all in a chest right now or you can, uh, yeah, nothing in this room. This is just the room that we use to, yeah, to build I, stuff. Yeah, I see so. the fences. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, allow I'm allowed to use any other tool at my disposal. <laughs> you scare me with that. Um, I, I hope. <laughs> My chat will know what I'm going to be using if I'm allowed. Are you gonna are you gonna spam click a thing and have it break by spam clicking it? No, you can't do that anymore. Uh, okay, don't do that. Habu, be good to me. <laughs> I spent a long time on this maze. I I'd like you to, to see all of now. it. I, I'd like I, if you break is it, it. Is the entire okay. thing just on the farm or is it multiple areas? No, it's multiple areas. Oh, okay, is it in the bus stop? Because I'll do it in the bus stop since it's the smallest area. <laughs> you can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Here's the deal. I'll say if you break it, you can break it to show off, but then come back and do it like legitly. Oh, it's not. It's not gonna. I mean, it's not gonna break. Dude, it. I, you scare me so much, man. All right, I'm ready if you are. I'm, I'm not gonna say too much. I'll let you just sort of talk through your thought process, um, and, and just get to it. Alrighty. Alrighty three. You scare me two, so much. One, go. Alrighty. Um. I oh, like your Joja t-shirt. There's a lot here. Um, okay, this one looks the longest, so I feel like Z is going to be mean and do this to me, so I'm just going to run the long way. <laughs> I so will I have say to this, pick up uh, the Winter Star thing? Yeah. The, oh, you can't pick it up uh, like through. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I did, oh, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I did tell everyone else. You can else, only like, do the through path to in the house. It's got to be, yeah, you got to go the longest path here. There's no way that you wouldn't do that. Um, this one, this part of it was designed by my dad. I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm zooming out real quick so oh. I can actually see. The theory. The top area looks like a dead end, but I can't tell because this goes in the same area. Uh, yeah, it may have been a dead end. Um, I'm going up. God, he's so cracked. And that middle area is a trap. This area is a trap. I couldn't see the top of that. So we're going this way. Around the greenhouse. Okay, there's the checkpoint over there. Oh, there's a bunch of checkpoints. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, see? Made it. Very nice. Checkpoint number uh, one. Grandpa note that I never pick up anyways. <laughs> Little encouragement from Grandpa. Oh uh, yes, he'll be back in two years. <laughs> All right, and now we have multiple ways. Will he do the same trick again? Wait, I need to see this top area. The this looks suspicious. I'm going the long way. I'm either gonna lose a lot of time here or save a lot of time here. Let's go. That's the speed running way, right? Uh, yeah. The Yolo Strat. I feel like this area is undone. I feel like I'm getting uh, scammed here, maybe. No, oh, can't go out south. Oh, does this loop all, this might loop all the way around. I didn't, no, I'm pretty sure the other area was, no, maybe it does. It does loop all the way around, doesn't it? I forget the beginning. No, it does loop all the way around. <laughs> Alrighty, nice. I knew it. All uh, right, time to do the cheat. Oh my God, what's he gonna do? Wait, can you move like more to the middle so that I'm not blocking you with my face cam? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yes. No Whatever problem. you're about to do. What is he doing? Did he's focusing? No, you can't walk that way, can you? Um... <laughs> this is an interesting strategy. You, you, no one can see it. Oh, can you walk behind that bush? You can, okay. What are you doing right now? Why don't you explain? What am I doing? I took a screenshot and then I opened up an MS Paint and drew the entire path of that I have to walk. <laughs> so it would show yeah, that would have That would have helped a ton in the other one. <laughs> Wait, can you not walk behind this? I 
I thought you could. MS Paint can't help you here. <laughs> is it the minecarts? It is. No, it's out of order. Wait, what? You can't walk behind this? <laughs> There's no way. Oh, not dumb. No, I was just here. What? <laughs> I am so confused. Yeah, make no mistake, this is for the viewers to enjoy, not you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, did you repair? You repaired this, didn't you? Oh, here's the tool. I can use the warp totem, right? Yeah, I only took yeah. one. Okay. I, you, ah, uh, that was the only area wouldn't work in. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, I'm not going to do it again, but <laughs> basically I thought you could walk yeah. behind the bus. So I drew the entire path with MS Paint and I would have been able to just get to the end instantly. Yeah, I can that, still use it for the rest of this, actually. That would have helped uh, a lot in the first section. Yes, but I still got through the first section without with like one yeah. backtrack, right? Yeah, you, you go down this. You go down this way. I don't know how I got so behind uh, you. And then you go behind the bush. Yeah, what I yeah, mentioned yeah. earlier. Yeah, and that's why I decided to use it in the small area because it would have ruined the, yeah. the fun of the first area. I thought about saying don't zoom out, but then I, I was like, well, if they think about it, they can they can zoom out. You can place crates. I guess that's modded. Yeah. Wait, you know you can do this, right? Or is this fully blocked? It is fully blocked, okay. I couldn't see all the way down. <laughs> I thought maybe I was being sneaky <laughs> there. You know, generally I walk the most efficient path throughout Stardew Valley, so I don't really get to see most of the map here. Um, that's blocked. You can't walk that way. Yeah, this is a dead end. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Brandon, thank oh, you for can the right oh, oh, can you? No, you can't walk that way. Did I write the first thing? No, you can't walk down this way, right? Yeah, no, you can't. There's no way through that. Can't walk. Can't get in there. Is there a different way that I'm not seeing? Is there a hole in the fence? There might be a hole in the fence. Is it right here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Is it up and not down? No, you're not gonna pull the same trick twice. I'm just gonna hold left and D here. Now this way. There we go. Yeah, if, you can't uh, the see people, it. You I just know. run at it. Yeah, the people who are watching can't tell, but there's like one fence on the bottom of the house, so you can't just go all the way to the corner. You have to like go to the corner and then up one block yes, to find the hole. Which is, is it, up one. It, it's so little, but it like gets in the way so much. I can't walk through that, right? Yeah, okay. It's behind the. It's either behind this, no, or it's behind the tree right here. No, it's not behind the tree. No, it's not. Where is the broken gap? There's a broken gap somewhere. Is all I know. It's right here. No, it's not. You have that fenced off. It's behind the. Yep, 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 yep. No, it's not. Wait, what? You can't enter there. You can't go through there. You can't... There we go. <laughs> That's a feature I don't use enough. Yeah, I. Uh, my dad did that while playtesting. That wasn't even the original way to get through there. Oh, really? Is there another cheese I have to do? No, it's not going to be behind there. I already, I can't go there. Well, this is a checkpoint, so I'm supposed to be able to... 
there's a checkpoint that goes up. I can't go down here, no. No, the checkpoint indicates that I have to go up. There's something behind here? No. Oh. It's locked. Oh, I can't oops. go in there. No, it's supposed to be unlocked. I messed up. Go ahead. Alrighty. I have a gold bar now. Yeah. All those all those gold bars and stuff aren't part of it, by the way. Okay. I have a gold bar though. Oh yeah. Show that thing. <laughs> I'm going to guess that there is somewhere a chest in here that I need to find at this point. Uh, where can you hide a chest? Behind a shelf? Yeah. Oh my god, you really logic your way through that one. Oh, there's there's a dead end and it works the same way with the- Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> oh, think, this is disgusting. I think the word you're looking for is beautiful. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is lovely right here. I like I like my boy, Gorman. the Grump. <laughs> the Grump? <laughs> That's his name. The Grump. All right. <laughs> I'm getting so many cutscenes. I've never heard him say that before. Or I've never heard anyone say that before. Uh, you'll get you'll know if you play a certain game. All right. I want that radium bar now. Really? Wait. What is this? What oh, is you... this modded tile? Oh, you don't know? Or it's yeah. not modded, but it's uh, untextured. You don't know? This is the slime crate, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slime crate in this game? I, I asked uh, Concerned Ape about it. He said there was going to be for 1.5 for like moving slimes between slime hutches, but then he scrapped it. <laughs> and so I found this weird item. Okay, okay. Now what the wrong one? Quite quickly. You know, I felt like I did really good in the first area, and then the rest of this has been kind of just like... Oh, I just went the total wrong way. I got... I got... I'll say you're at 10.30 right now. I know you have no sense of scale there, but that's what you're at. Uh, I have... I have so I would like to say I have some sense. Okay. Be running and all. Well, you don't know how much is left. True. But I haven't felt like I've been that bad. You're almost into the second eighth of the course. <laughs> I feel like this is a bait, but I'm doing it anyways. Because I see Joja and I'm repping the thing. Join us, Thrive. <laughs> Join us. That is all. That is all? Uh, yeah, work. Thanks. <laughs> Can I get a... Uh... You know, can I get a membership deal here where I just uh, get some time cut off for, uh, you know, joining us? I don't know. Supporting Joja and wearing the t-shirt, I feel like maybe maybe that could be justified. I'm at two Iridium bars. That's 3,000 G if oh everybody takes the right perk known as blacksmithing over prospector. Oh my god. You meant a walking encyclopedia? Uh, mine parts were not repaired. Uh, but the, the checkpoint is down here, so I'm a little concerned. I cannot walk this way, though. Of course I do. Um, maybe I can walk that way and I just didn't try enough. Or maybe it's just behind this bush. No, it's not behind this bush. How about this tree? Not the tree. Did I just not? No, I tried. It's on this side of the bridge, just so you know. Told everyone else that. Yeah. You can't. No, you can't get into the fence on the side. It's only the other side, right? It's only the other side, right? That's right. Yeah. Oh, he's fishing. <laughs> he's animation cancel fishing. Can you walk through this tree here? No. Yeah, it's all... Huh? Uh, is there another, like, bench trick that I can do? Bench jump? No. <laughs> you look like you Harry just Potter. see me, like... Yeah. Good. Um... 
I'm actually stumped on this one. I won't lie. I'll give you a hint. I gave other people hints. You're pretty close in this region. Like, it's in this... It's, it's not this. up top. It's not up top? Like, it's it's from here or down, I would say. Okay. This is... No, there's no... I'm trying to find, like, hidden chests, but I don't think that helps. Trying to find out how I get into this area, but I don't think I can. That bench is not gonna help me in any way. I can't reach the door. Oh, it's a <laughs> fence gate. <laughs> uh, oh, that makes, wait, where am I going now? I'm not going that way. My carts are out of order, yeah. Oh, wait. Now I. Yeah, okay. Now you're gonna probably do something with this, because it's the only area that I can go. I don't have any of that. Uh, can I not walk that way? Oh, there is a chest there. Okay. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Well, okay, I've never seen this decorated tile before. <laughs> it's another weird one. Yeah. It's called the what, bonfire. What is it called? <laughs> oh, axe. Can I do that? Yep. Oh, you can't? Okay, that's smart. I didn't realize you could do... I'll take it. <laughs> the final checkpoints. Oh, you're very close to the end now. Mm. That's the last checkpoint. Alrighty. Uh... No, there's no way behind that. Right? Am I blind? I thought this was dead end. Yeah, that was dead end. Where am I going? Oh, cave. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, oh there Dude, we go. Dude, I think you tied him. I think you tied Concern Date. Oh boy. Oh my god. I, it's 1533 for both of you? Oh my god! Oh, CA is cracked then. How did wait? Well, you did. I mean, you I, did guess really I, I guess I guess I messed. Except the the gate. The gate held you up, dude. Oh my god. You tied. It's like literally tied. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I might have to like retime that. We can just call you both winners. But, dude, holy crap. Oh my gosh, what a photo finish. 1533 for both of you. Uh, yes, I love- Wait, this looks so much worse on your screen. <laughs> I know, yeah. Do the watering animation so you can see what I saw during uh, I need a watering sabotage can. run. Can, uh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. can you break? Yeah, I'll break some for you. Oh my god, man, that is wild. You beat Brand again. Brand again got like 16 minutes. Oh boy. Yeah, I, w I want you to see what you looked like in your uh, watering during the Shane run. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, I think uh, because I'm not going to bother to retime, I'm going to just say you guys are both winners for now. I don't know. Are you okay tying? I'm fine tying. All right. I think uh, I, I think we I can might say I mean, that we I might tied just, CA. I, I was going to say we might just have to do a rematch in the future. I have a, like so many ideas for a second uh, a second one already. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm not sure if my timing was like exactly perfect either though, but yeah, I guess uh, we still have M yet to go. I will say the the prize, I think I forgot to tell you, was uh, one of my mods, Riv, will draw your Stardew Valley character. Um, I have, uh, I guess the easiest way to show you, there's a, a thumbnail a while ago of a farm tour I did, if you want to see the one she did of my character, but any uh, any Stardew Valley character you want drawn by an artist, uh, she's offered to do that. So, yeah, I think uh, she'll... she'll Probably do one for you and for Concerned Ape then. If M wins, I, M already has had that drawn, so we said we'd give the prize to someone else, but yeah, hey, good job, man. That was impressive. Ah, uh, yes. I <laughs> I can't believe that fence gate. I'm like, what else could it be? <laughs> and then I started clicking. <laughs> it, it's so tough. You know, it, it's so tough when the, like... The stuff that yeah. you hide behind, it's like how in the... Pumpkin maze. What was the thing called? Halloween. It's yeah, Halloween. Like Spirit Eve. Spirit Eve. Spirit Eve. Yeah, I don't. I don't attend any festival. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, it's like he has the behind the thing. It's like first time playing. It's like you can do that. Yeah. And then you start trying to go behind every single house. Yeah. Uh huh. My mind was blown. One the the way I knew that you could even go into that area, you know, that one with like the pink trees behind the or above the blacksmith was uh during our community farm when we were playing and like it was an anarchy farm so you needed to like put a chest down somewhere to hide it from other people and someone put their stuff like back in there in a chest in that spot and i just thought that was the craziest thing because i didn't even know you could go back there yeah i mean i'm sure there's so many hiding spots that i just have no idea about just because i don't play that type of way mm -hmm. yeah well, I, uh, I've got one more person to get through, but dude, thank you for, uh, for being a part of that. Oh, no problem. That was awesome. All right. I will, uh, talk to you soon. My friend, feel free to watch M's attempt since you're done. Now you can, uh, you can see how she Alrighty. does. Cool. All right. Later, man. Later. All right. I'm going to call M real quick and restart this for her guys this is our last one. It's our last attempt before the biggest stream I've ever had is over. I'm going to call her right now. I don't know if she's going to be ready to pick up on Discord. I might have to run upstairs and tell her real quick. But I am going to run to the bathroom real quick and blow my nose. I'll be right back. Give me one second. All right, I'm going to run upstairs and tell him real quick. And it's her turn. Yeah. All right, very nice. M's grandpa is here right now. I don't know how old he is, but he does not understand Stardew Valley or video games. But he was still excited for me tonight. It was really cute. He was like, I heard you have a big video tonight. I was like, oh, thank you, grandpa. Let me get this invite code for M. Why am I winded for running up the stairs? Guys, again, thank you for joining me tonight. This was, this was so awesome. We have one more, my favorite person out of everyone tonight. As much as I like Concern Dape, M, what's up? <laughs> Hi. I didn't I didn't hear what you just said, but I hope it was nice. It was so nice. So nice. Okay. See, she doesn't I'm believe so me. convinced. I'm, I'm so convinced. Okay. You're going to watch this back in the post edit and feel really bad. Oh, um, wait. <laughs> uh, 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 oh no, I'm mean, I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. Just a little nervous? They're cheering you on. <laughs> okay. Let's go, M. Let's go, M. All right, I sent you a, uh, an invite code. Okay. Let's get cracking. Yeah, dude, this, the one thing I've learned from doing this the first three times is it is not over until it's over. This It's okay. like literally anyone's game, so. Oh, man. Can I ask if the other, if the, if the others were close to each other? I, I will tell you. I won't tell you, like, who's winning or, like, if they did yeah, good yeah. or not. But... Concerned Ape and Habu tied. They on time? To the second. To the second. Wow. So. Wow. That's kind of insane. It would be really, like, if you could just win this real quick, that would be really nice for, like, you know, me having, like, being able to decide who the official winner is. Because then it can just be you instead of a tie for first between, you know. <laughs> okay, well, I guess they did better than, yeah. uh, <laughs> they did better <laughs> than Brannigan. Okay. <laughs> they, they did better than Brannigan. That's all you need to know. Okay, all right. all right. Well, my goal is to just not be the worst. But if it can't happen, it can't happen, and that's okay. <laughs> uh, and I feel, uh, Brandon. I'm sorry. I really, he's, he's, <laughs> he's been a crying face. You did good too. Like I think Brandon did better than I would have. But unfortunately, like other people did good too. All right, Emma, you, you've heard too much. I, I gotta stop talking. I'm so bad at not spoiling stuff. I said that to yeah. Concerned Ape. I was like, dude, I'm so bad when I know secrets, I can't help but tell them. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. I said it just like that, too. Come out here. I'm uh -huh. just going to huh. just go to the Hold main on, farmhouse. Right. Okay. Oh, that's fine. You just go to the main right. farmhouse first. Uh, you can't use any of your starting tools. All right. Okay. Uh, so you can oh. you can put them in a chest if you want to, or you can just not use them. But I'll tell you the same thing I told everyone else. 
you, uh, your time will start when you leave the farmhouse right here, and your time will end when you pick up the Feast of the Winter Star. Sorry, I forgot I'm not showing it. And your, uh, your, your time will end when you pick up the Feast of the Winter Star. Okay? Um, Is that the tree? That's the tree, yeah, the Christmas tree. Okay, okay. And so, uh, yeah, if you see the golden statue, the Statue of Endless Fortune, that is a checkpoint. All of them, like, have things that you can collect, but they're not for the maze at all. Like, gold bars, diamonds, okay. and stuff. That's not part of okay. the maze. Um, I think I think that's it. I'm probably forgetting to tell you something else. Oh, uh, don't pick up the... Like, you have to be next to the tree to pick it up, okay? You can't pick it up, like, through the fence. Because you can okay, pick it up okay. from kind of far away, but, like, actually do okay. these. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, you... I'm, my heart's beating so fast. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay, right. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, whenever you're ready, just run out the door. I'm not gonna talk much. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you talk through your thought okay. process. Okay. Um. Well. Okay. So, um, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not your thought process. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. Why? What? Okay. What? <laughs> What's happening? Let me get to the tree! Let me get there! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay! Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> We're not gonna panic. We're just gonna go through the maze. <sighs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, she's in home mode. <laughs> I, I, I've learned about myself that it's it's mostly just like... I don't know, like, having nothing else to say. Okay, <laughs> all right, I see the gold statue. Um, <laughs> so do I, <laughs> so do I, like, go? These are what is known in the maze community as dead ends. <laughs> right, <laughs> all right, fine, I'll go back. I thought maybe typically, there was a trick. Uh, you said there were tricks. <laughs> typically, once they are dead ends, they don't stop being dead ends. <laughs> Okay, you said there were puzzles, and I thought maybe one of the puzzles was walking through the fence. Okay, so. You know how in um in the Halloween one, you have to walk through the secret passage? Okay, my thought is now, usually you have to go far away to get where you want to go. Wait, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm committing. The pond route. You and I look like Cosmo and Wanda right yeah. now. <laughs> It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> Why did I have to be Wanda? <laughs> you chose this for yourself. <sighs> to go forward, you must go back, you could say, I guess, right? Yeah. That's exactly. your thought process? Yes, that is my thought process. Who said that? <laughs> Me. Whose quote is that? You? That's M's quote? Alright, I'm yeah. glad we finally uh, answered that question. I, I took the wrong path on the two-way path. I have to go back. <laughs> I'll oh, see you, Habu. Thank you again, man. Bye, Habu. <laughs> Good job tying the man, Mr. Valley himself. <laughs> Mr. Valley? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else said that before me, but I really liked it. I don't remember who it was. Uh, oh you should have seen the chat when you went to the bathroom. Man, oh, I don't God. know. When they were asking him questions? Yeah, there was no, I, there was no way he could read that. That oh, was insane. Absolutely not. Yeah, I felt a little bad. <laughs> <sighs> okay, <That's laughs> yeah, she's she's growing <laughs> weary. She's growing tired of her long travels. <laughs> that little tunnel portion made me feel like I was doing good, but now, <laughs> now I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling real bad. Yeah, any any like beef that you have with me because of this section, you can blame my dad. Ah, oh, simply and why? <laughs> my God, Lily said it was going faster than the high YouTubes. Oh my yes. God! It was like I couldn't even. I read mean, everyone it. was here for him, and I was like yeah. here to talk to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a simply Ed move. It's like a complicated Ed move. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Not so which path? Yet. <laughs> which path do I take? It's either one or four. 
one. It's not one. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I, I thought this was gonna be easy, and I haven't seen any puzzles. Which is making me feel bad. <laughs> Maybe I have to go into the cave. <laughs> I think this is the hardest part of the whole oh, maze. There's another statue over here. Oh! Your first checkpoint! Yay! Yay! Wow, okay. opting not to take the gold bar with her. <laughs> Was I supposed to? <laughs> everyone else did. <laughs> oh. You weren't supposed to, but everyone else did. Oh, well. That's how- that's my time save, right there. <laughs> <laughs> go far away to get to where you want to go. So wise. Master <laughs> Uguay. <sighs> all right all right so you just like are you, are you <laughs> how how long how long do i have again i don't even know uh you have until you're done okay <laughs> uh you're currently at five minutes okay okay that this section makes me feel bad this makes me feel like i exited the maze by accident <laughs> okay <laughs> What's down here? Any secrets? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I haven't... Um... Goodbye. Oh! Yay! Is that checkpoint number two? Checkpoint number two! Yes! Let's go! Okay, that's Spend a dead end. <laughs> Just checking out the tree. It's looking nice, by the way. Is this a trick where I have to take the minecart? <laughs> Cause I'll do it! I'll do it! Oh, it's out of order. <laughs> it's like you're spending a long time there. <laughs> um, um... I'm feeling bad about how long I'm taking. This feels not good. Okay. Okay. Tunnel. I okay. Goodbye. Very nice. I, I couldn't <laughs> see if you went through or not. Oh, I took them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just keep going. Wait. I'll. I'm just. Oh, you're good. You're good. Just keep going. She's like, oh yeah, the desert warp totem. Better take 999 of them just to be safe. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. You're at seven minutes. Okay. Bus. Are you returning? Yes. <laughs> Bus. I'm coming back. Elena says, what if you need to warp 999 times? Yeah, well, now she has that option. <laughs> I have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice totems. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Should I go this way? It's over here. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Just, just checking all my options, you know? Of course. Slow and steady. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, there's a tree there. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's good. Wait, what? What? I'm about to warp back to the desert. I don't <laughs> want to be here anymore. Oh. Surprise! Surprise, Shade! <laughs> I think you've got the most spirit out of all of our competitors so far. <laughs> okay, that's something. Surprise, Shade! The slalom. This is an agility check. <laughs> <laughs> is that a D&D reference? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Number three. Three. Can I just avoid this section by going over here? No? Oh, I really wanted to avoid it. I really <laughs> wanted to avoid it. Okay, fine. Worth the check, I think. 
This is a great maze, by the way. You know, you. you did a really good job. Thank you. Shout out Simply Ed. Shout out Complicated Shout out Ed 88. Complicated Ed. You did great. In fact, why are you not moving? That didn't this make me feel end. good. That didn't make <laughs> me feel good when you stopped walking. <laughs> Wait, am I not supposed to go in here? No, no, this whole area is a dead end. Uh, I knew it! What is wrong with me? I should have checked better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> stop! Leave me alone! I'm already in pain! I'm already in pain! Please stop! She's already dead! Okay. Hey! Easy. 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 Should've known. God. Should've known. Finesse that. Alright, so yeah. over till it's over. This is where the, the high IQ comes in into play. Hey. Ooh. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. I can't hear it. My voice sound is off. Ta da! <laughs> that was your. That was what you imagined it sounded like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Where are we going, boys? Oh, there's one. Okay. Wait. Wait. Waiting? Okay, just checking. Just checking. Hello, anybody? I want to go this way really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we go behind piers. Right? No? Yes. We know this from the egg hunt. Oh, please. Please let me go. What am I stuck on? A little oh, fence I left. put back that means, there. <laughs> that means I can't go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Uh oh, I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling real bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, where do we go? Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. <laughs> the bench skip. Here's one. Bench skip. Checkpoint. What's next? Oh. I was just gonna go over and around. Next we have to get to the bridge. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Okay. Um. What do we do? What do we do? Uh... <laughs> of course, she can't what? help herself. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know what we do. There's not a lot of area here. Psst. Is it here? Psst. Where is it? What? Psst. I'm gonna help a little. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Psst, don't go back there. Don't go back there. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll edit that out. No one will ever know. Okay. What? What? Why are we in here then? Am I, am I just supposed to leave? No. Okay. <laughs> this is just a room. <laughs> Don't, no, don't go back there. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> I want I want to. I don't know what's happening. Don't buy Can anything. Can I purchase a backpack no. upgrade? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I'm supposed to leave. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> I kind of want to buy a backpack upgrade. Oh. Please okay, don't take all of them. Okay, <laughs> I won't leave you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's your warp sound. <laughs> I told you my sound's off. Oh my god. Wow, this area is kind of beautiful. Thank you. I know. I, Hello. I designed that area while uh, Simply Ed was finishing up his part. They're cheering you on, Em. Come on. Thanks, thanks guys. I feel like I'm going so slow, but that's okay. At that's the very right. least, you're learning. You're learning to leave totems behind for me.
Willie, I don't want your pole. Leave me. <laughs> okay. There were not 999. She didn't just like Whoa. take four. It's okay. What are these? What are these things that I'm looking at? What are they? Uh, slime crates. Oh, mine are just like gray squares. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they didn't make it yeah. into the game. I'm, I'm holding one over my head right now. Okay. Whee! Okay. So you're you're seeing gray circles also. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Very nice. Just taking a <laughs> swim. Just going for a swim because I can't get over here. <laughs> I want. I want that chest. I want it. What's happening? Oh yeah. This is a great this question. Where I came from. <laughs> <laughs> I was also a little lost. <clears throat> oh, it's hard to to see the path right yeah. now. Yeah. You're doing great. Thank you, thank you. I'm really I'm really focusing now. <laughs> <laughs> go little man, go, go little man. <laughs> This is feeling good. <laughs> Except I don't know if I can go this way, actually. Oh, I can. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Joja. <laughs> <laughs> Join. Yeah, that's all a dead end. <laughs> oh, cool. Great. I should have known that because the, the statue's on the bridge. Can we get some join us thrive in the chat, please? Thank you. No, nobody <laughs> say that. No one. <laughs> all right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, my God. Here, you can have a spec. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, you know what? I, I know I'm going slow, but it's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> We're just having a good time. This is the way I play Stardew Valley. It's not fast. It's just fun. <laughs> you can put that on a t-shirt. True. <laughs> Blue Yoshi says no more hints or I'm telling Mr. Valley. Oh, no. <laughs> please oh, don't, no, tell, don't Mr. tell Mr. Valley Mr. on Valley. me, please. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> There's a divide in the chat between the Stardew or the Joja supporters and the Joja haters. What's going on? I'm proud of myself for figuring out that bench thing, so if I lose, that's okay. I yeah. figured that out, and that's all that matters to me. <laughs> you can figure this out. It's on this side of the bridge. I told everyone that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know there's something down here. Why would I even check? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's my way of feeling the silence. <clears throat> if one of my mods wants to put the uh, Joja, there it is, Joja. There's a poll right now. Thoughts on Joja? Go ahead. What do you think? <clears throat> oh my god, no. You can tell how many new people are here tonight based on how many anti Joja votes there are. <laughs> down here. Okay. I told Brannigan that also. It's down here. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see the statue over there. Hello. <laughs> Hello, statue. <laughs> Alright, what's she thinking? What, what's your I thought process? I don't have thoughts. I have okay. no thoughts right now. Come, come, up, here just... come up here a little. They're, they're <laughs> okay. going to tell Mr. Valley. I tried this. Oh. Alright, nice. Easy. I like how you emerged on the other side with the gate. <laughs> Hello? 
Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay. You oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, it's 20 to 64, death to Joja. Oh my god. Good. If you're new here tonight, I will turn you eventually. Don't worry. I'll, I'll let you see oh. the ways of Joja Mart. What's going on? Can let you me just chop now. my way. Interesting route. I don't know what's going on. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. She's close to the end. The home stretch. Is, come on. Come on. Sub 20. Sub 20. Go, 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 go. Sub 20. This is a good sign. That doesn't feel good. Sub 20 feels really go, bad. Go, go. <laughs> Last night I was feeling hot. Tonight I'm feeling bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just, you just know. It's still a dead end. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I thought I could pickaxe the gate. I can't. A brief moment of reflection. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, you want to go okay, again? oops. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Okay, I kind of gave that away a little bit. I, you juked me out. <laughs> you juked me out. You went, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was following you in. Oh my god. Alright, very nice, Em. 2017 was your final time. <laughs> Thanks for cheering so, me on, guys. What was your goal? My goal? Yeah. Like, what was, what was um, it, you said your goal was before we started? To have a good time. <laughs> okay, it, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure, that was a good goal. Em, uh, well done. You Thank did not you. come in first. You came... You came in not dead first. Last. I'll, uh, dead last. I mean, do we have to get more it's specific? Okay. I know. Get, I, we can just I, say. I, I mean, you, you can, can just say you didn't win. You know, they say if you're not first, you're last. And so you really, you <laughs> really, you tied. I guess just brand again because concerned ape and Habu tied for first. So right, right. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna retime uh, concerned ape and Habu down to the frame. I'm, I, as far as I'm concerned, they'll both get mm. the like prize for it, but I want to know who okay. actually won. So I'm sorry to the people watching live. You're not going to get to find out. I'm going to put it in Discord afterwards, though. So I'm going to do real quick in the chat, exclamation point Discord. I'm going to put it in announcements, the announcements channel. And so uh, I'm going to, oh, Habu did. All right, cool. Well, join the Discord anyway, if you want to hang out with us off stream. Um, and thank you for joining me. That was a lot of fun. You're welcome. I had a great time. <laughs> Um, <laughs> guys, that's, uh, I'm going to hang up, MC. Uh, guys, that's all I've got for you tonight. I really appreciate uh, the uh, biggest, guys, oops, I really appreciate the biggest stream I've ever had. That was really, really cool. I'm going to pass the love on to another guy who plays Stardew Valley. we got 300 viewers right now. Um, his name is Cordite89. We, uh, talked about him earlier in the game. He plays Stardew Valley very, very efficiently. And right now, what is he doing? He is doing his 250 million gold in hand by the end of year two challenge. You can ask him all about that. He'll tell you about it for sure. Um, so if you want to see some efficient starting, that's what's up. But guys, thank you so much. This was absolutely huge. Someone told me I was over 800 viewers at one point. I can't thank Eric enough for the chance to do this. That, that was just so cool. I hope to see a lot of you guys back. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Same time as I did tonight, uh, three hours ago. Three hours and 15 minutes ago, whatever time that was for you, that's when I start my stream. So we'll be back on Monday. We'll be doing more crazy stuff, a lot of creative Stardew Valley challenges. And if you ever want to uh, see the YouTube stuff live before it goes up on my channel, uh, which is also youtube.com slash unspassablez, you can watch it here with us. I'm going to start this raid real quick. Got to show some love other way uh, to some other people. Guys, thank you all for the followers. They didn't stop all night. I couldn't keep up with them, obviously. And uh, I think I might have missed some subs too, so I'm sorry about that. But... Guys, Habu, uh, or sorry, yeah, thanks Habu and uh, Brandigan and again, Eric and M. Thank you guys for uh, joining me. This is really, really cool. Uh, Derpy says, I'll see you next stream. Thank you very much, guys. Let's uh, get some emotes ready. If you've got unsurpassable Z ones, get some yodels, get some unsurp creams. If you've got ones from other people, do those. And let's uh, show some love to Cordite with 172 viewers ready to raid. Guys, thank you very much. I love you. I'll see you uh, on Monday. Peace.